today and we are going to knock it out. You know, I think this like pompadour look uh, is a look inside the game. I don't really know how to mess around with that, but we're here. We're here and we're going to beat the game today. Thanks so much for coming, everyone. We've been having a great time going through all of Paldea and uh, not really focusing on catching Pokemon, just focusing on getting the game done. If you guys have been playing along with me, you guys know where to find the ultimate Pokemon. Uh, Lucario, Garchomp, Dragonite. Yeah, my team is looking pretty good. Although this back row team over here doesn't really do that much work. And the main heavy lifters are going to be Garchomp and Lucario. I'm so happy to have them. Anyway... Speaking of happy to have them, I'm happy to have you guys. Thanks so much for coming. Hello. All of you guys that are watching live right now, come out and say hello. Hello. Hi. What's going on? Laney's here. Hello. Dusty King Drago. Uh, Lady. Who else is here? Sky Fox. Good to see you. What's up? Haku. Behemoth Gaming is here. Uh, Jordan. What's going on? Bradley. Onyx. Jenny. Good to see you too. Mark. Mago. Kirby. Sabonic. Hello. Ooh, it's been a little bit. <clears throat> anyway, um, I wanted to say thank you guys for supporting everything that we've been doing here. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this earlier, but if I go over to full screen, uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, but the Tips and Tricks tutorial playlist is looking mad packed right now. So thank you so much for enjoying it, for starters. Uh, we've got a couple new tutorial videos that I worked on more recently since we last talked. Uh, we have the 10 minute shiny method right over here on how to get shiny Pokemon really easily. So if you didn't already take a look at that video, please do me a favor and do that. I, this video can use as much support as possible. So help me out with that. Other than that, we also did rock out the all Eevee evolutions video right over that way. Uh, you guys saw me get Vaporeon, the ter the wild terror type, but now I grabbed every single one of them. And that thumbnail looks really, really sparkly. So I'm very happy about that. Other than that, we got all legendaries. We got 100% completion, the entire Pokedex, where to get Ditto, uh, Paradox Pokemon, and all of the little shrine things. Like seriously, we are packing this out. And I'll be working really, really hard behind the scenes to make sure that gets done. So thanks so much for watching that. And of course, thanks for supporting AbdallahSmash.com. Uh, I actually went out today and I mailed a bunch of these autograph cards. Uh, some people have gone over and purchased one of these very fun custom autograph cards. Um, I wrote your name on there. I said, yeah, thanks so much for watching. You're great. You know, like all those fun things that you want me to write about you. Um, and then I mailed them out today. So keep an eye out on your post on when that should be arriving soon. So thanks to you guys for supporting that. And of course, thanks to all of our elite members right over here at AbdallahSmash.com. You guys are great. Couldn't do any, couldn't do it all without you, right? Couldn't do it without you. All right, so thanks so much for watching. You guys ready to do this? Introductions aside, we're gonna knock this out. Oh man, yes we are. Okay, so can we destroy the upcoming battles that are coming our way? I don't know. But uh, I can't wait to find out with you guys. All right, so here we go. Oh my gosh, look, I actually got a straw this time. Oh my gosh, drinking coffee, it's a bad idea. I'm, I'm too afraid, I'll let it cool down. <laughs> I'll let it cool down. Okay, <laughs> if you guys are all ready, let's see some big hype at home in the chat. All of you guys that are here, thanks so much. Artemis, good to see you. Thanks so much for coming live. Dragon, thanks for... Uh, being there and helping out, of course, you are awesome. And let's do this. <clears throat> let's do this work. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. I hope you guys are ready too. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. We're going to go through and we're going to finish off the Path of Legends right now. Uh, the Path of Legends is the only thing that is left over. We've beaten the Elite Four. We've become champion. We've disbanded Team Star. Um, other than that, we really have to just meet Arvin over by the lighthouse where we originally started our entire adventure. So that being said, let's go through and see what Arvin has to say about how we're going to go inside the lab and help his mom out, right? All right, here we go. <clears throat> let's do it. Knock, knock. Hello. Seriously, you beat me here? I was taking my sweet time, but sure. Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. There better be a good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out. Uh, 
Everyone always says she's some kind of genius, absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My mom, that is. But let me tell you, as a parent, she's the worst. All she ever does is work. She never comes home. I don't have a single memory of her uh, e ever even playing with me, her own kid. Mabasif's the only one who is there for me, always. Anyway, it's open now. Go on in. I just want to get this over with. <laughs> Alright. We're going in. What do you think is inside here? Let's take a look. Oh, Arvin. Ooh, cutscene. Hey, got the budget for a cutscene over here. It's all dusty and dark. Concrete walls. Looks like it hasn't been lived in in a while. Is there a sensor that just automatically knows? I need your help. Okay, that's it, that's the cutscene. And we got Sada's theme. I'm currently at the deepest point in Area Zero in the Great Crater of Paldea. The Great Crater, okay. Hello, I've been researching the unique Pokemon here for a very long time. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Sada's glorious research. Referring to herself in the third person? The final step? But there is something we need first, something that can be found within that lab. What we need is the Scarlet Book. Wait, do you mean this book? Ah, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? He did steal that. This expedites things. Bring the Scarlet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that it'll be an experience worth treasuring if you come. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. Ah, okay. Uh, it seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. I'll be awaiting you in the deepest part of Area Zero whenever you arrive. That's great. Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Mabasif got wounded in the first place, down in the Great Crater of Paldea. In all honesty, uh, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you gonna go? Of course I'm gonna go. He's like, nope, not doing it. I suppose she did ask. And I just, uh, and I can't just stand by and watch while a friend heads off into danger on his own. Okay. So I guess I'm going to. Besides, I'd love to give mom a piece of my mind. Ooh. All right, then Abdallah outside. We're gonna have a Pokemon battle to see if we're really ready to head into Era Zero or not. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. A Pokemon battle? Great. Against Arvin. Remember the one time we were fighting against the uh, the giant fish Pokemon? The false dragon Pokemon? And Arvin only had his Squavit? And I really needed him to throw out another Pokemon? Yeah, remember that? He left me high and dry. <laughs> and guess what? I'm gonna have to battle against this Mabostiff. You think I wanna do that? I don't. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. Should I let him win? Hello. All right, you ready for a battle, Abdallah? Uh, yeah, begrudgingly. 
Excellent. You're ready too, right, Mapostev? Oh gosh, I'm. Mm, nope. Nope, don't do that. Yeah, Mabasov says he's ready. Please do not battle with that Pokemon against me. That is not okay. Are you battling with Mabasov? Wait, are you sure about this? That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. Uh, but my buddy here is bursting with energy. You'd never know he was so weak just a little while ago. Won't leave me alone, always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long I nearly forgot, but he always did love to battle. Uh, even if we always lost that student council girl, the battle fanatic one. Okay! Anyway, my point is there's no need to worry. <laughs> we're a brand new Arvin and Mabostiff, and we're feeling audacious. Maybe herbaceous? Let me give you a taste of what we can do. No thanks. Oh, yeah! I love his... Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the thing though, right? Like, so if I use like a level 75 Lucario in close combat, super effective on that Mabostiff, I'm probably gonna end up having to go find five more Herba Mystica to revive him. Not good. Alright, Lucario's out here. The Pokemon that I met during our hunt for the Herba Mystica are all stars. Every one of them. Especially this Greedent over here. Hurts, man. Alright, Greedent. Good job, big guy. Man, this is gonna be fun. Okay, Scovillain. Ooh, a Scovillain. What do I have? Scovillain, Scovillain, Scovillain. I have an Ice Punch. Yeah, uh, I have an Ice Punch. I'm gonna switch. Um, I mean, he is a... He is quite the resistance Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna leave Lucario in. I'm gonna probably eat, like, a fire move. Oh, man, that's actually a really bad idea. Unless I just close combat. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, okay. Uh, I only have five power points on close combat. So... I was thinking of terastalizing. Here's uh, Gar Garganackle. Uh, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch out to Garchomp. I don't want to risk, I don't want to risk Garganackle <laughs> surviving, because Garganackle's base defensive uh, stat is just through the roof. So odds are he'd probably survive a close combat and proceed to like bulldoze me or something. Anyway, so here here's Garganackle. This is called Minecraft the Pokemon. Um, he's pretty interesting, so we're going to go Earthquake. He's only a rock type, so this should be good enough. Yeah, good. And he doesn't have Sturdy either. So Minecraft the Pokemon goes down. And we're gonna move on. Uh, Toad's Cruel. Uh, it is Ground... Ooh, yeah, 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 we're gonna switch. It is, I think that's Ground Grass, if, um, if I get this right. Yeah, here we go. Toad's Cruel. Yeah, he should be four times weak against uh, ice over here. So doing a, sim a simple ice punch should be good enough. Without terastalizing. Yeah, yeah, we're all set, man. I told you, you only need two Pokemon in the post-game. Or, like, pre-post-game. Uh, here's Cloyster. Ooh, Cloyster! I'm gonna stay right here, baby. Yo, Cloyster's not gonna like this. All right, here we go. Close combat. Yeah, see you later. So we're pretty much one-shotting their entire team. And here's the moment that I've been dreading since knowing that I have to go over here with Arvin. <sighs> here we go. Here's my boss stiff. Oh, I don't want to. I'm going to end up putting this dog back in the hospital. 
He tried to intimidate me, but I got inner focus over here. Like, yeah, right. Enjoy, buddy. Let's celebrate your full recovery with a glow up. Time to terastalize, my boss diff. What, terastalize into dark? I mean, unless you're terastalizing into ghost, like, that's not really gonna help you out here, buddy. Oh, he terastalized into dark. Youch. And he's not gonna outspeed Lucario, and he's gonna eat a close combat like we said he would. Yo, my gosh. Okay, sorry, buddy. Yo, we put that doggy right back into his Pokeball. Uh, sorry, Arvin. <laughs> Why did the sun move? What? Did you see the sun? Uh, we were so close, Mabostiff, so close. But Abdallah, thanks, little buddy. Yeah. Dang. This is the strength of someone who could take down those Titan Pokemon, huh? Uh, yeah, much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're going to need some support. The Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong, and there are uh, all sorts of weird machines in there, too. I'd say we need at least two more people. Somebody with some champion rank level skills, and somebody who can deal with crazy tech. Uh, yeah, sounds like Nimona, sure. The student council president? You're probably right, that girl can take on any Pokemon that comes at her. She's a beast. Well, uh, seems like you've been busy making some pretty useful friends. I'll reach out to them and organize things. You just make sure you're there. The meeting place will be at the Zero Gate. Its facility is out on the edge of the Greater Crater. I'll send you the info on how to find it, so don't keep us waiting forever. Oh, that's what it looks like. Cool. The Path of Legends. Complete! Hey, that's cool. Okay, so that's exactly the ending of Path of Legends. Remember, we got all five Herba Mystica, only to revive Mabostiff and um, knock him completely right out. <laughs> So, sorry. Alright, anyway, so we gotta go over to the Greater Crater. Uh, we're gonna go right over here into this spot. This is the Zero Gate. So I'm gonna set this as a destination right over here. We're gonna come over to Madali East. And we're gonna fly on over there. And we're going to make our way on the inside of this crater. I'm excited. Alright, alright. Y'all ready? Let's go. Oh, Madali. Yeah, Madali's actually really good. Um, mm, mm, that's one of the things that I did not do in this playthrough, is something in Madali. Uh, I'll make a video on that later. Alright, moving on. Is, are my Pokemon healed? Arvin, did you heal my Pokemon, dude? Good. I mean, Lucario, did, <laughs> Lucario didn't even break a sweat, so we're good. Yeek. So, uh, the first time that I played through this game, uh, I did not have Lucario, I did not have Garchomp, or anything like that. Um, I used my entire, like, wild-caught team, right? Um, so with that, Arvin actually rocked me the first time that I battled him. Ever. Because I didn't know the typings of all of his Pokemon. Like, Toad's cool? Toad's cruel? Like, who's that? Uh, hey, over here. Ooh, man, that's good. Lucario's doing the work, man. This is the Zero Gate. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldea, what folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Coridon was born, or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that it can finally come back home. Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. Chapter 4. The Way Home. Right? So we had three chapters in the game. Right? We all had to knock all the chapters, see them through to the end. And now they're going to convene right at the end called The Way Home. That's kind of fun. Bow, 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 bow. Alright, all the paths are done. We're here. 
and we're gonna see what's going on. I'm gonna go inside this weird technological base. Whoa, kind of dark in here. Oh yeah, my favorite NPC. Hola, Abdallah. Arvin said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. When she heard she'd get to battle awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you can come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in battle. <laughs> but more importantly, why is it so dark, and where are the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Oh, oh, there we go. Turning on the lights. Well, now the lights are on. But why? I I turn them on. There you are, coming on in. Look at it, it's Penny. Seems like they were on power saving mode. All right, out of all three of these awesome teammates, who is your favorite and why? I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Uh, I guess. My name's Penny. Well, hey, we never got to actually talk. I'm Nimona. I'm in class 1A. You must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling too? Ugh, you talk, like, way too much. The director introduced us. Uh, when you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyway, Penny here also agreed in a in a second when she heard it was to help Abdallah. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you, Abdallah, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. And of course, everyone knows me, Arvin. Uh, my love, my loves include my Mabostif and cooking and biometric identification in progress. Hello, Abdallah. I've been expecting you. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry, who are you? That's my mom. Probably. What? That's Professor Sada? Nimona, student ID number 805C001. And Penny, student ID number 803B121. I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, maybe not in person exactly. Arvin, did you uh, tell your mom about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down into the great crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you see on your right. Uh, Mom? Please proceed below. Ooh. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. Okay, friends. I'll meet you over there. We're going to Area Zero. Uh, uh. <laughs> Can't take a step down. No way. So, kind of interesting, huh? How is it that Sada can just rattle off their, their student ID numbers like that? And why did Sada talk in the third person? Mm. Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. Access granted to lower level. Oh, it opened for us automatically. Not quite. Looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you'll be above area zero. Abdallah, uh, you have brought Koridon with you? I have. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Koridon's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths and reach Area Zero. What? Isn't there like an elevator or something? And wait, did you say Koridon can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch with you again. I hope your trip is uneventful. Railroading people into stuff just like always. I can't wait to see what Pokemon live down in Area Zero. Let's go. That girl, is she, like, incapable of fear or what? 
I guess we better go too. All right, let's do it. Run in. Okay, here we go. You can't ride Karide on here, not yet. Abdallah, ready for the worst? Oh yeah. Good, that's all we needed to hear. Get out that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. Okay, here we go. Into the great crater of Paldea. What's the matter with it? Hmm. Scared of heights. That's what I'd say. Well, no wonder. But no need to be scared if we go together. How does that logic work? Get on. Not without... That's my Pokemon. What are you guys doing? I drive that thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so imagine the upper arm strength of Arvin. Whoosh. I almost fell down. That was not safe. That's cute. Alright, so we made it, huh? I hope the trip is uneventful. Oh, look at this. Rainbows, waterfalls, greenery inside of a giant crater. Beautiful. Look at this. And now I'm back here again. Huh, I think I might have died once or twice there. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's shivering. That's like a little cat, you know. It's like a pet cat. It chose to go back in its ball? It's probably just hungry or something. Wait a second. Where's that student council girl? What? She's gone? You don't think she... Everyone, you have to see this! Area Zero is amazing! It's true, it is very amazing. Come on already! I guess your ability would be own tempo, huh? Biometric identification in progress. Four humans identified. Condition satisfactory. Vital signs all within normal range. It appears you were able to make the descent without being harmed. Huh, yeah, sure, smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about a landing like that? Well, that is good. I had concerns you might fail given the crudeness of the only available access method. Huh? I think your mom's sarcasm detector needs fi fixing. Uh, you were worried about us. That's so sweet. You should now make your way... Uh, to me at the Zero Lab in the deepest part of Area Zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks installed on the exterior which I cannot unlock. Four locks? On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. Okay. At each station, you'll be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into that lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? Excuse me? Come on, time to find our way to the deepest part of Area Zero. Nimon is the best. I don't know, if I were to rank these three friends, I like Nimona the most. I would like Arvin number two. And then Penny, eh, she's alright. Alright, so here we are. Let's do this. Area zero, baby. We're walking in. You see some Metacham. You see some Venomoth. You see a lot of cool Pokemon over here. Raichu, Corviknight. Cool. So this is the inside of the Great Crater of Paldea. Area zero. It feels different from just seeing it in our textbooks. It's just so intense. Normally, we'd never be able to get in here to see it for ourselves. Huh? Wait, where'd Coridon go? 
Seems like it got spooked by something. It's hiding in its ball. In Serio, that's not good. Can we even get back to the surface without it? Ah, oh, should be alright. The last time I was here, I caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They always come through, if you're a real sob story. Why don't you just call the professor? Uh, none of your business, Pipsqueak. Jeez, no need to bite my head off. Where are you... What are you getting all huffy for? Come on, you two. This is an adventure. Let's just have a good time. Alright, so there's a little bit of storytelling along the way. A little bit of bantering from all of our teammates. And they're all just running with us, see? That's kind of fun. Oh, yeah. I love this music. I love the atmosphere. I love the 20 frames per second. I love the Pokemon just sprouting out of nowhere. It's probably like 15 frames a second right now. Uh, and then they're just reminiscing about how Abdallah and them met each other, which is pretty fun. So there's our, um, there's our spot over there. Hold it right there, you two. You think you've got cool friendship origin stories with Abdallah? They're nothing compared to what me and him went through. Our friendship's on another level. Uh, nobody asked you. Stop trying to flex on us. <laughs> I guess we're all just in the buds with Abdallah club. It's true. Arvin and I, you know, we actually shed some tears together. So, like, our bond runs pretty deep. I would say so. But, like, Nimona and I, like, we legit went through the entire Pokemon uh, League together. So that was really fun. And she was really testing my metal. So I really like that. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, what are they called? Radish rations? Research stations. Huh, well that was close. Wow, you have such a great memory, Penny. What's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Uh, oh, what the heck is that? Uh, that's a Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Abdal, let's take it on together. Okay, uh, this thing's pure poison, yeah? Lucario's not going to do anything against pure poison. Maybe like a Meteor Mash? Oh, but I got Lycanroc over here too. Okay, so I could do a Meteor Mash. It's level 62, which is very strong. Or I could do a close combat. Uh, why? Is it poison dark? I don't know. Oh, bullet punch and meteor mash is super effective. Oh, it's poison rock. Yeah, that's why. It's poison rock. So meteor mash is going to do mad damage. Boom. Nice. Good job. Good choice. And it's got a really cool ability called Toxic Debris that it spits out a layer of toxic spikes every time it gets hit. So good. I love that. I love that Pokemon so much. Are there going to be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? You think that was something? Please. You've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero actually is. Wow, patronizing much? Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. I mean, Arvin's got a point. He's... There's a lot of terrifying things that you guys have never seen before. Okay, great. That was a nice little cutscene there. Open up! Wow, are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Abdallah, if you'd be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel. Should we do it? Um... 
Yeah. You heard the professor. Better press it. Lock disabled. Three of four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Arvin is not liking this. This is a little suspicious though, right? It feels like we're going to let out like some sort of beast. That's kind of what I'm feeling on the inside. It's like, should we really be opening up these locks? Like, is there something down there that is just going to come out and like attack us? Why is it locked? Why is it locked down there? Okay, here we go. We've determined that this energy crystallization is linked to the being we call six squares. The interlocking hexagonal plates that comprise six squares as shell must be somehow uh, must somehow cause this phenomenon, which I've dubbed terastalizing. Someone's scales is based off of terastalizing? Thanks to my prototype Terra Orb, I secured corporate funding for my research and made a laboratory in the lighthouse near Cabo Poco. Someday, though, I'll return to the crater and resume my study of these crystals. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Well, things are just going to get a lot deeper the further we go in. Are you guys ready for it? What's going to happen? Let's hear all your predictions, yeah? Anyway, you guys are awesome. Thanks for watching as always. <laughs> so all of these little journal entries and everything like that, kind of interesting. Uh, who's writing the journal entries? What are they talking about? Like, well, they showed that uh, someone invented the Terra Orb and got funding for all this research. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, things are, things are looking a little creepy, a little creepy. What's going on? Mm-hmm. Look, I got a straw. <laughs> Okay, so predictions at home. If you if you guys have already seen um, the entire game, <laughs> keep to yourselves. Don't spoil it for everyone. But those of you guys that haven't watched the Pokemon Scarlet full game walkthrough, Pokemon Violet full game walkthrough, um, what are you guys feeling? Talk about your predictions. How do you feel right now? What's going on with the story? A lot of things are not really making sense, and we're just kind of getting bits and pieces of it right in front of us. Anyway, thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for um, enjoying all the content that we put out here. We've got tons of tips and tricks tutorial videos, such as a 10-minute shiny method, which we figured out not too long ago. we got our full shiny guide, EV evolutions, all legendaries, 100% completion rewards, all full Pokedex. Everything's there for you. Thanks for checking them out. Woo! All right, predictions, folks. That's all I want to see is some blind predictions. Blind predictions. I love hearing it, right? I love hearing um, what's going on with that. Uh, my predictions are, is that, well, like, at the time when I was going through this for the first time, like, I don't know what's going on, right? Like, it, it seems a little suspicious, right? Things don't quite seem what they are, just based off of, like, context clues. So, anyway... You guys ready? Let's do this. Give me some big thumbs up if you guys are ready for even more. We're going to go diving straight in there. I'm so ready for this. So without further ado, let's jump on into it and let's knock this out, shall we? You ready? You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, we're diving straight into the Great Paldea Crater in uh, even more Pokemon Scarlet. So let's jump on in. Okay, let's move. Let's go, team. Arvin says, I almost never saw my mom my whole life. Oh, is it time for a backstory reveal? Penny, shh. She was always busy with her work, hardly ever came home. I cooked for myself, cleaned for myself. Mabostev was the only one I had to talk to. So yeah, I don't really know her at all, even if she is my mom. I try not to think about it too much. Uh, but the truth is, I would have rather just had a mom who was there... Uh, I haven't seen her for ages, unless you count uh, seeing her in the news. I used to get emails sometimes. And then there she appears, out of the blue. It tells me we gotta come to Area Zero. That's some family, right? Oh, but, uh, we're not here to judge or anything. Last time I came to the Great Crater, I was trying to go see my mom. I got about this far, then I got attacked by some kind of creature I'd never seen before. Really? What kind of Pokemon was it? It wasn't even like a Pokemon, more like this crazy, violent, rampaging sort of thing. 
You sure it wasn't a Pokemon? Uh, with a little, I don't know, rampagey more than average? Yeah, I'm sure. It was a completely different creature altogether. And it hurt Mabasif real bad, so it's not like I just forget. I don't ever want to run into that awful thing again. It was that strong, huh? Then I really hope I get to see it. That's what I figured you'd say. You're real tactless sometimes, Nimona, you know that? Alright, here we go. So, some sort of thing... Some sort of thing attacked Arvin and Mabostef. That doesn't... That's not a Pokemon, it's some sort of creature. The second research station. About time, too. Let's do it. <sighs> Phew. Let's, let's head in and take a breather. Thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. Ha, huh, huh, I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Hey, look, a Jigglypuff. It's good to see some nice, familiar Pokemon down here, too. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Wow! What the? Whoa! Abdallah, it's battle time! Tell me more about this Jigglypuff. Lucario and Penny sent out her Umbreon. Scream Tail. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm not too versed in the types of these Pokemon, so I'm just going to use Meteor Mash. Okay, lowering its attack for Scream Tail. Well, it seems that it's super effective, so maybe still a fairy type? Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. That was definitely kinda ferocious for a Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. It looked like a cute Jigglypuff, but apparently not. Screamtail? Let's look really quick. Screamtail. Fairy Psychic. Okay. Fairy Psychic. Lucario will eat Screamtail. Whoa. Weird, huh? Alright, let's move in. It did kind of look like Smash Bros. Jigglypuff, right? With the yellow eyes. Uh, well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon? I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these? Huh? What's that book? Mmm, Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Wow, Monsters of Area Zero. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I notice a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. Monsters of Area Zero. So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think of Dala? Uh, I think they really are just Pokemon. 
Yeah, same. I mean, they look different, sure, but they use moves in battle just like the Pokémon we know. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor, some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokémon that lived in a distant past long lost to us. Ancient Pokémon? What? That's awesome! Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I'm located, contains a time machine. It summons the ancient Pokémon to this place. So the thing my mom spent forever researching down here... She actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine. You mean you can actually travel to and from the past. It's theoretically possible to travel to the past. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation yourself. Now then, Abdallah, please use a central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. You heard the professor. Alright, pressing it. You better press it. Two out of four. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Abdallah. You know that book she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Uh, or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Obtain the Scarlet Book. Put the Scarlet Book in your bag's key item pocket. Alright, a book of uh, a record of the expedition that the author, Heath, went on within the great crater of Paldea. The book has the name Sada written on it in clumsy handwriting. Who's Heath? Take care of it for me, okay, Abdallah? Arvin's tapping out, man. Let me read this. At last, I can resume work on the Terra Project. I'll move my research to the Zero Lab this month. My team will be smaller, but no matter. The strong influence of the crystals makes our experiments much more unstable. The crystals' power is tremendous. Their unstable output made our corporate backers fret. But... If we can harness this energy, it'll open up research possibilities we'd only dreamed of. At last, paradise will be ours to create. I don't think you can go into those. All right, cool. So if you ever need to heal your Pokemon, you can use that bed over there and take a little nap. So, interesting. All right, we're moving on. Come on, friends. Where are your, what are your parents like, Nimona? Whoa, I'm going to go down this way. My parents, normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even I know about your dad. He's on the oh, he's on the board of the Rotom Phone Company. No Floet. A level fifty-eight Floet, though, man. You could just grab that and put it on your team if you wanted to. Wait, how'd you know that? Everyone knows that, dude. Floet, man. I think you're just like a sparkle. I'm reading the I'm reading the text. I'm not looking where I'm running. All right, moving on. Wow, so Nimona's uh, actually a pampered little princess from a rich family? Oh, no, no way. That's not. That's so not my thing. Though, yeah, I guess you could say my mother and father were, like, hands-off, but in a good way. Uh, my big sister would probably take over the business, um, but they wanted me to do it. Wait, you call them mother and father? That's some pampered little princess stuff right there. Ah, uh, Penny, uh, what is your family like? Uh, my family is... Unbelievably annoying. Like, super overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad. He's loud and clingy and makes up weird nicknames for me like Pen Pen. He's the most annoying guy in the world, period. He's the worst. Man, that's a real downer for your dad. Having his own, his own daughter describe him like that. Don't you dare take his side. Uh, Abdallah, how about you? Your mother seems super nice. You met her? 
Yep, got a glimpse of an amazing looking sandwich she made, too. <laughs> really, I wish I could have seen that. I bet it tasted great. Admiring my mom's sandwich. Dude, my mom had access to Herba Mystica. She made me an Herba Mystica sandwich in the first two steps of the game. And then we gave it to Karaidon and he perked right up. So, mom's got some sort of secret recipes that I don't know about? Alright, we're moving on, we're moving on. We gotta get down to this crater. Alright, another research station. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again. 100% guaranteed. Uh, oh, Penny, such a worry wart. Huh? Yep. There it is. See? See? Wait a second. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we just saw. So, it was an ancient Pokemon all along. Whoa, you battled one of these before, Arvin? It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Abdallah and I are old pros when it comes to these Titans. Leave this to us. Mm-hmm. That's right. Uh, this thing is Fighting Ground. Fighting Ground type. Whoa, what's underneath there? Okay. Taking a peek under the ground real quick. All right, Lucario and... Oh, Mabostiff. Okay, okay. Yeah, nice. Nice Intimidate. All right, let's do a little bit of uh, Ice Punch. I could Terastalize to ensure the KO if I wanted to. Boom! Wow, that was not enough damage. Rapid spin on me? Okay, cool. Enjoy. Play rough. Wow, okay. I could do a bullet punch. It's probably gonna outspeed us. Ouch, man! That same type attack bonus, too, fighting ground. Good job, good job. Got a crit on him. Okay, Wild Tuss, man. I gotta go take a nap now. Yeah, we gotta protect my boss stiff with all of our might. You see that? Victory's ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Herba Mystica came from down here. You two got to meet one of those Pokemon before our crater get-together? Jealous. Uh, if we got things from literal ancient times roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Sada doing anything to keep them under control? How could she let this happen? Yeah, right, because it's not like oh-so-brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up. Come on, Abdal, let's get in that research station. It's true, we gotta, we gotta figure out. I like the, the weird, like, ominous music. It really fits the mood. You know, I think that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have the best music. And made it to station number three. Uh, how are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. You feeling rough, Penny? No, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time uh, from the past, right? So what about Coridon? Isn't it pretty likely that it all, that it's also one of these ancient Pokemon? I mean, it does kind of look like a Cyclozar, right? Huh. I think you're onto something. It is kind of giving off ancient vibes. Even its name sounds pretty pasty. Wait a sec, I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin. You had Coridon's ball, and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Ugh, you still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everybody's little star pupil. Guess I've got no choice then but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon Coridon... That is, it was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor, Coridon, which I entrusted to Abdallah, 
was the first Pokemon that successfully retrieved uh, that was successfully retrieved by the uh, from the past by the time machine. Seriously. Uh, through analysis of its genetic makeup, as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact an ancient form of Cyclozar, the Pokemon still commonly ridden around this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Dude, they do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Coridon. Oh, you mean there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally be re reunited with our Coridon. A heartwarming family reunion. Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'd be if we can get the family back together all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. Uh, if we could proceed, Abdallah, please disable the next lock using the central panel there. Third lock. Alright, listen to the professor. Okay, one more left. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue to the final research station. Our time machine research has yielded a triumph, a Pokemon from the ancient past. I've named it Coridon. I was expecting one new life to treasure, but what fortune to be blessed with this gift as well. How much damage? Oh, cool. I'm recovered. Sweet. Okay, well, uh, we've got three out of four of these little things. There's just a little bit more. Let's do it. So Coridon's an ancient Pokemon. No wonder no one's seen it before. Abdal, you gotta let me battle Coridon right now. Uh, it still won't come out of its Pokeball. Oh, right. That was the first I heard of it coming from the past myself. It was just some weird Pokemon my mom brought home um, a sudden, all of a sudden. We lived all together at the Lighthouse Lab for a little while. My mom made me promise to keep it a secret, and I had to take care of it for her, too. So that's why you knew so much about it. Yeah, but then one day Coridon just went nuts against some wild Pokemon. A few of the folks living nearby ended up seeing it, so the secret was out. Then my mom took it and went back to Area Zero. Guess that makes sense, if it's a Pokemon from a different age. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did you guys pay attention to all the Pokemon that we walked past? You may have seen another Paradox Pokemon. Oh my gosh, look at these huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. One slip and we could kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the professor is down there somewhere waiting for us. And that's fine. Totally fine. Alright, team. Watch yourselves. And let's get to the bottom of this thing. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here, like the stories say. Yeah, this place is like something from a whole other world. Makes you feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere? Is it just me, or do the crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon terastalize? There's gotta be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody, let's keep moving. We've gotta go all the way down. Alright, let's do it. Here we go. Whoo! Oh man. There's that weird looking Jigglypuff. Alright, moving on. Whoa, they're everywhere. So, if you really wanted to catch some of these Pokemon, you could do so right in this area on the way down. Uh, I'm not really going to focus on catching any of them, uh, simply because we can always come back to this, and we have to come back to this area. So, yeah, I'm not in any way, shape, or form ready to catch these guys, but this would be cool to fight. Yeah. You want to see it? Oh, look at this cool-looking Misdreavus, huh? 
Interesting. Of all the Paradox Pokemon. Oh, get out of here! Of all the Paradox Pokemon, man. I was not looking for that Dino. Oh my, he almost pushed me off the edge. Where did it go? Whoa, it is gone. Thanks, Svilus. Dang it. Alright, we may never see that other weird ghost looking Pokemon again. Dang it. Alright, we're moving, we're moving. Uh, what's happening on the bottom of the screen here? Okay, okay, just, they're thinking about school. Alright, talking about school. So maybe it, it got hurt down there in Area Zero, just like Mavostev. Hmm, we can't know for sure, but uh, it doesn't change into its battle form anymore, right? Yeah, so I think it's possible. So they're talking about Coridon. But that's so sad, we gotta do something to make it feel better. And no, I'm not just saying that because I super badly want to battle Coridon for myself. Uh, yeah. Whoa, sorry, Gibble. These guys are everywhere. It's gonna be easy Pokemon to catch, though. I'm, I'm gonna be very excited to, like, start tossing some quick balls at these guys. Alright, here we go. Moving on. Little Jigglypuff. We're almost all the way down there, too. Look at the ground levels just very far down. Ooh, man. And everything's boarded up, too. Like, we can't go over there and get it. Look at this Vilas, man. Get out of here. Alright. The fourth research area. Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess. It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. God, Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again? I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry. Hello, children. Hello. Hello. What the heck? Stop that. You're creeping us out. Hello, child. Children in. Child in. Child are in. Children. Initiating restart. The professor must be having some weird connection problems or something, huh? Well, it was definitely weird, at least. Almost like, I don't know. If she meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I still got goosebumps and all. Do you want to? Should we do it? We could just walk away. We go back up. We could call a taxi and get out of here, man. This is too creepy. You know what we need? You know what you need to do. You better press it. All locks disabled. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, hello. Can you hear me now? Please forgive my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. That's not what that was. What do you mean, Arvin? The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way now to Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Mm, creepy. I need more people, more time. That man walked out not long after the boy was born. I need another set of hands, but could they be trusted? And how long would it take them to even understand? If only there were two of me. My new assistant has intellect and technical skills to rival my own. A bit rigid at times, but I've got no serious complaints. Productivity has doubled. We even brought in a second Coridon via the machine, though this one uh, has proved aggressive. Who's writing these notes? Who's got an assistant? That man walked out as soon as the boy was born? Like, what are they talking about? Is that Arvin? So where's Arvin's dad? 
There's definitely something off about the professor just now, right? Maybe it was a little dramatic flair to, to get us all jazzed up. What? That you got jazzed? Yeah, maybe even big time jazzed. You need to go see a doctor. That's just not right. Okay. You seem kind of down. No matter how things turn out, I'm counting on Abdallah. So we're getting some Terra shards over here. The cool thing about collecting these Terra shards is that if you collect 50 of them, of a single type, you can use that type that you've collected 50 of in order to change a Pokemon's Terra typing. It's kind of cool. But yeah, you gotta collect 50 of them, yeah right. Not gonna happen. Alright, we're going as far down as we can. You see Dunsparce over here. Look at it flying. Gibble. Everything is spawning out here. All those Jigglypuffs, Screamtails. We haven't seen another one of those uh, Misdreavous paradoxes, have we? But it's pretty cool that you can come out here and find a bunch of Gibble, like, just easily. They're just so common at this point. But, I mean, we've got our Garchomp, so we don't really have to worry about anything else. There's a TM over there. I'll grab that. Hey, that's actually a really good TM, Shadow Ball. Just chilling out over there. You get one from uh, from Rhyme, beating her Ghost Gym. Whoa, okay. Whoa, hey guys, hi. Alright, we're coming down. Ooh. We're almost there. Oh, I think this is a good pause point. Yeah, this is a great pause point right here. So we made it to area zero. Here comes a Doug Trio. Is he going to dig out? No, he's not. Okay, area zero is here. What's going to happen? Doug Trio, you stay right there. I'm not interested. I'm not, not picking up what you're putting down. Area zero. We've made it thus far. What's going on with our friend, Professor Sato? Why was she acting all weird on the intercom system? And uh, yeah, what's going on? Does Arvin have any idea what's happening? Is Arvin holding back on us? I don't know. We're gonna find out very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for being here, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go fill up my water cup and we're gonna go get this. We're gonna go get this Pokemon. I'm so excited to show this to you guys. Uh, this this ending is going to be pretty clim climactic for sure. Aaron Kelly, good to see you. Thanks so much for the super chat. All of you guys at home, thanks so much for hanging out. Give me uh, two seconds and I will be right back and we'll continue on. Better watch out. Doug Trio might come. Okay, we are ready to go. Hey, thanks so much for sticking around, everyone. All right, I'm loving this. It's the end of the game. We get to find out what happens over here. 
How many guys have been keeping um, spoiler free up until this point, right? I know I put out full game walkthroughs of everything and I put some final boss and ending stuff happening out there uh, on my channel, but who, I want to know right now, has not seen the ending and you're watching it right now for the very first time? That's who I want to see right now. That's really nice. That's actually really cool. Aaron Kelly, uh, Blueberry, Ashley, Sabonic, Sparky, uh, Lady, Jaden, uh, Tammy, too, as well. Uh, that was great. Uh, Lena, awesome. Claus, Fergus, uh, Natalie, Cassie, Joseph, Ricardo, Will, um, John, awesome zombie plays. Uh, Malik. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. I love that. I love Grisama. Thank you. So I'm glad that you guys are all ready to kind of see this. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerry. Oh man, this is real cool. Um, yeah. So some of you guys have already seen it, which is super cool. Great. Awesome. Thank you for not spoiling things for everyone else in the comments. Um, yeah, I'm just like really excited to show it to you because we've just kind of sped through this game without really catching everything But we'll go back and catch everything too. I just wanted to make sure that we're there so I am really um, Excited I'm excited to share it with you guys. So without further ado, give me some big hype in the chat big thumbs up Let's go give me a whole bunch of thumbs up and let's go if you guys are ready to see this ending We've got like another good hour ahead of us right now that showcases what else is happening so let's see it all of you guys at home thanks so much for hanging out Woo! let's do it let's do it man that's a really fun time i'm so pumped for that here we go let's do it it's time we are here at area zero we've got all these pokemon waiting for us two-headed pokemon three-headed pokemon one-headed Pokemon, I don't know. Anyway, let's go inside and see what is going to happen. Two steps and we made it right here. Boom. We made it to the very bottom. Check this out. Look at those beautiful crystals. I love the eerie music too. Like this, this end game is arguably one of the best end games in all of Pokemon history. Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it. Ready to see if those legends of treasure down uh, here are for real? Huh, yeah, right. That's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks. Oh, look who's calling us. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terastalize. So this entire building's been terastalized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. The professor implied something important about the Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate to the Zero Lab should now open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. Yeah, that does sound like a problem, and we don't want to see any dangerous Pokemon. With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, and then open the gate. You've got me and Abdali here. It doesn't matter what we're up against. We'll be fine. Huh, well then, that puts all my worries to rest. Should we do it? Are we ready? All right, here we go. So this means that all the locks and then all of the dangerous Pokemon are going to come spilling out of there. Do we really want to put that into the Paldea, the Paldea region right now? We're going to be directly responsible for flooding this entire world with the unknown. Would you do it? Or would you just like walk away and be like, all right, you know what? We're going to seal this place. We're going to make it forbidden. No one can come down here. 
What would you do? You don't know what's behind here. Open the gate to the Zero Lab? I don't know, man. You decided to press the button and open. Hold it! Oh, there we go, Arvin. Huh? Why? We're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we have, uh, shouldn't we also have Coridon help? Yeah, if Coridon were like how we first saw it in the Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see it battle. Uh, but it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero, and it can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong. I know it is. It ate all those Herba Mystica we found, too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to find its family, too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Uh, I don't know. Go on, Abdal. Let Coridon out. Okay. All right, come on, Abdallah. Now that we've got Coridon ready, it's time to open that gate. Here we go. Oh, look who's there. Look who's watching. Whoa. Oh, yeah, there it is. The family reunion, it's happening. Whoa, no way. Man, I got stuck with the weaker one. Dang it. Oh no, something's not right. I want that one. That one's gonna be my battle one. Wow, he's like, you know what? I don't have time for weaklings. I'm gonna, there's my way home. I can go home if I go in there. That's right, that's a smart Coridon. Well, we found the second one. Huh, what's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quickly? Are you joking? There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Just look at Coridon, poor thing's terrified. Guess that other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry uh, a thing about any of that. Once we get you back into your battle form, I'm sure you'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe against that jerk. If, you know, if you want to. Sorry, I guess that doesn't really help, huh? Do you think that other Coridon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the Professor warned us to watch out for? But didn't the professor say that dangerous Pokemon would come from inside? You mean from inside the gate that we just... Oh, here they come! One, two, what is that? Three! Okay, here they come. What the? Here they come! Some Pokemon you haven't seen yet. Alright, so welcome. More Paradox Pokemon. We're surrounded. And it's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome mat. There's no way we can handle this many. And don't tell me they're all ancient Pokemon? Oh, we've got a little disaster on our hands here. Oh no. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. Then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Abdallah. Let's do this together. Yeah, Nimona, who you bringing out? Accelerock? What do you got? Lycanroc? Who's coming? Oh, okay. 
Yeah, so what I've learned from this guy, this is a big Great Tusk. This is our second one that we're going to have to battle over here. So go Lucario, here's Lycanroc. Uh, oof. 64? Uh, I am going to Terrastalize an Ice Punch. It'll probably do around like maybe 40 to 50% health. I just don't want to eat like an Earthquake. And that's going to be pretty bad if this thing does that. So, anyway, Lucario's got... Lucario's got the goods again, this guy. Let's, we'll see what happens. At least 40%. Okay, well, I'll take 60%. Drill run. Good? Oh, so close, kid. Stomping Tantrum. Yeah, one hit KO. Oh my gosh, that's Nimona. Well, Nimona's got Gudra, so don't even worry about it. Wow, that was pretty intense. Boom. Cool. It's rough. Wow, they're strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Uh-oh. Uh, why are they coming at me? Abdallah, help me out here. Okay, we got some brand new Paradox. Look at this guy. I actually don't know his typing. Umbreon still. Okay. Brute Bonnet. I can Terrastalize, so I'm going to. I'm going to Terrastalize. We're going to do an Ice Punch. Pre predicting it's some sort of Grass type, yeah? We'll see what happens. It looks like a grass type. If it's anything like Fungus Amoongus. Baby doll eyes. Get it, get it. I think this should be. I hope it's a one hit KO. Boom. Yeah. Good job, Lucario. That's right. Brute Bonnet is gone. Good job. Nice camera angle over here. God, the ancient past must have been terrifying. Yeah, that's right. Oh no, they're running away. Yeah, and? If those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess on our hands. We gotta go after them, Penny. Why me? Wait. Ha <laughs> ha Hold on, Nimona, and why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all this? I hope the two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out now. I guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for the strong-looking one first. Okay, so this is the first time we get to battle this one. Ooh, yeah, this Misdreavus looking one. Alright. Let's take a look. Um, what do I want to hit it with? Well, I know that Close Combat's not going to do anything. It's Fluttermane, that's his name, Fluttermane. Uh, close Combat's not going to do anything. It's, most likely it's a ghost type. Actually, I don't really remember. Uh, Meteor Mash is going to be 90, plus Stab is 135. Ice Punch is going to be 150. We could Terrastalize and do some Ice Damage. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be a little bit stronger. Maybe we get the Freeze? I don't know. This is going to be cool. So, Nimona and Penny are out there containing the rest of the Pokemon that are out and about running. Which is real good. Uh, and Arv and I, we're cleaning up the rest of them. So this is going to be so fun. Ice Punch. So I outspeed everyone on the field. Let's see how much this does. Times two. Ooh, so come on, Mabostiff. Take it, take it. Shadow Ball? Wow, not very effective. Bite it. Crunch. Ow. Yeah, good job, Mabostiff. That's my guy. Good job, little one. You did it. Cool. 
Great. See, the power of friendship? Man, it had us perfectly in sync. All thanks to our titan hunting together. That's right. Still scared, huh? You worried you might have to face the other one of your kind? Well then, let me take on some of the burden. These st stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mabostiff here can take them. That's right. So, Abdallah, you take your partner there and go take care of business. Got it. Ha, huh, glad to see you've got some faith in us at last. Mabostiff can't wait to battle either. Yeah! Yo, he's got teeth like Iono. Karaidon. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You've got amazing powers if you just use them. And so you've got us too. So, so, so don't you even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave, stand up and fight. Wow. Well, we're all healed. Let's see what's inside. Cool, huh? So, if you remember back when we started the Path of Legends with Arvin, when he saw that Coridon came over here and ate the sandwich, he was very mean to it when he first was uh, talking to it. Microscope and various samples have been all left here. Ooh, creepy. Oh, human presence detected within Zero Lab. Deactivating sleep mode. Hello, Abdallah. Thank you for coming. Master ball. No. Back into your ball. That one is far less traceable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Coridon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Sada. Uh, what are you talking about? I am an artificial intelligence the professor created, imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. The incident? The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for the Coridon to survive and thrive. That is why she threw herself in front of your Coridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Abdallah, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Some Westworld stuff over here, huh? Wow. All right, well, I'm going to poke around a little bit more. Various research documents. Anything else? Hang on, there's something written here. In order to better defend the Zero Lab, I have developed what I call the Pokeball Lock System. Once it has identified IDs associated with specific Pokeballs, it can... The rest is too faded to make out. Whoa. Cool. It's a picture of a young boy and a Mastiff. They look really friendly with each other. Oh. So even while... Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it, huh? Right in the top corner. See a picture? 
Oh, cute. Give me that. Booster energy. This elevator will take us down to lower level. Step inside. So, I mean, Sada wasn't so heartless. She had pictures of Arvin and, and Mastiff to keep her company while she worked, right? Abdallah, it truly is a relief to me that you came. AI Sada. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? What is an AI, really? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that make up the Zero Lab had made such a thing possible here. They're also why I cannot leave this place. Anything you want to ask? What happened to the real professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, her physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I'm afraid that this fact may be difficult for her son Arvin to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. What is this time machine? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. Uh, when she was alive, Professor Sada had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age, what you might call ancient Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw ancient Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is it you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which ancient Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon's powers seem to stem from a primal energy of the ancient past. And this energy has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this modern age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient Pokémon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokémon appear that can break the barrier, such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the professor, and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever devised. Abdallah, you have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy. Destroy the dream Sada once cherished. Okay. Sure. I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lowest level. That's interesting, right? Like, the professor wants all of these ancient Pokemon to come out and, like, be a part of society, but, like, the ecosystem probably can't handle that, according to this AI. So, yeah, I was like, dude, you gotta shut this down. You gotta do it. And, of course, we're gonna say yeah. We've said yeah. I mean, we're yes man in this game. Oh, you need Herba Mystica? Yes, man. You want me to become Elite Four Champion? Yes, man. You want me to help beat up these bullies that were bullied by other bullies? Yes, man. Behold, this is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. Whoa. Okay, are we good? Lucario, you got this? Let's go, man. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Scarlet Book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. She loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal here, you'll be able to stop the time machine. 
There's just one issue. If you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you've readied yourself for this fight, please place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal. That's not intimidating at all. Will you place the Scarlet Book on the pedestal? Yeah, we will. Like, I calculated everyone's battle mechanics. I know every outcome. I deconfirmed Professor Sada initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shutdown command overridden. Reinitializing. It's up to you now, Abdallah. AI Sada switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Please defeat me. At last. At last my dream is within reach. And you're not getting in the way. Wow, those eyes! And the weird font is so good. She's just like creating and tossing master balls into the past and just catching stuff. AI Sada has initiated a battle. Ooh, man, that is so cool. If this is not the coolest final boss, I don't know who is. Holding a master ball like a champ? Just letting it go. Ooh, Slitherwing. I don't remember Slitherwing's typing. Yo, someone bail me out. Ooh! I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Uh-huh. Slitherwing. Bug and fighting? Oof. If it's bug and fighting, I don't really have a fire attack. Alright, so let's do this one. If it's bug and fighting, I'm still gonna lose. Mm, let me do... Let me do a Meteor Mash. And he'll probably do half health. He'll probably hit me and not KO me. We'll try it. Oh my gosh. Lunge! Okay, it's just a bug move. Whatever. Ah, uh, my attack falling though. I don't like that. This is the power of the ain't the power of the ancient holds. Splendid, isn't it? I can be okay. I'll do a I'll do a meteor mash. That's good enough. Minus one shouldn't do it. Yes, good, good, good. Now I'll switch out and we'll get rid of that debuff. Perfect. Thank you. Ooh, Slitherwing. So that looks like a little Volcarona, huh? Uh, Brute Bonnet. Oof, come on, man. Brute Bonnet. I mean, I could bring you out here with an Outrage, take out Brute Bonnet, and then switch out. Yeah, Garchomp, let's go. Alright, here we go, here we go. Brute Bonnet. Now, as much as I wanted to stay in and do an Ice Attack, I think that a neutral Outrage should knock it out off of this Garchomp. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, if it doesn't, then we'll see what happens. It'll be a two-turn outrage, then we can switch out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Payback? Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Uh, not so much. Okay, so not a one-hit KO, but still worked out. Okay, Screamtail. Yes, I will. Thank you. See how easy this is? Okay, Screamtail, we learned, was Psychic Fairy. So, Psychic Fairy's weak against, what, Poison, Steel, uh, Ghost. Poison, Steel, Ghost. Uh, maybe Bug? I don't know. Alright, here we go, Meteor Mash, super effective, one hit KO. Boom! See you later, Screamtail. Now this is interesting. Child, do you actually understand ancient Pokemon's weaknesses? 
Whoever manually typed that out, phenomenal. Sandy Shocks? Sandy Shocks, I'm gonna stay in. Oh, you haven't seen Sh Sandy Shocks, huh? We'll stay in on it. Oh yeah, Sandy Shocks over here. What in the world is this ancient Pokemon? No, that wasn't good enough? Oh gosh. Oh, that's actually really bad. That's zero? Did I get knocked out? Do you imagine you can you can best the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? Yeah, I did get knocked out. I thought I'd be able to knock it out because I thought it was a steel type. But Sandy Shocks is not a steel type. Well, Sandy Shocks. I thought a close combat would do it. Apparently not. How are you faster? Wow. Flutter main. Flutter main's that ghost one, yeah? Great. I don't have a dark type move. I'm probably going to eat a hit because Flutter Maze is naturally fast. Flutter Main. Ooh, Outrage has no effect? Excuse me, I was about to use an Outrage. Oh, gosh. Uh, Ghost Fairy? Is this a mimic you were looking at here? Oh, my goodness. He's going to absolutely crush me. With a Shadow Ball, nonetheless. And that's the KO my Garchomp. Wow, cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, we're fine. My first time I had to use Dragonite. It's cool. A minor miscalculation against Sandy Shocks costed me this, but we'll be fine. Uh, we're going to Terrastalize. I'm going to use Iron Head. Because I don't want to eat the incoming um, potential fairy move. Yeah! Steel Terra type Dragonite. Love that. Big Iron Head. Oh, Power Gem? Rock type? Yeah, right. See, I dodged that big time, right? Because Rock is not very effective against Steel. Boom! Flutter Main! And get some of that health back with Shell Bell. Great. Roaring actual moon do you even know everything is proceeding within my expectations i'm afraid the probability of you winning is zero especially roaring moon you have not seen roaring moon boom look at this thing yo what did they just do booster energy uh what is protosynthesis Attack was heightened? Oh my gosh. Roaring actual moon. Yeah, right. Uh, Roaring moon is what? Dragon dark? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to outrage this thing. Earthquake super effective? Oh my gosh, I'm still alive. Go, Dragonite. Oh my goodness. I thought we were going to lose. Yo. Dang, Dragonite coming through. Okay, coming through and Lucario and Garchomp just couldn't handle. She and Pao learning Recover, excuse me? Not right now. All right, AI Sada, impossible. It's pretty intense. Wow. Roaring moon. Okay. Abdallah. Hey, friends. What 
is this? Did you already beat the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? Thank you for everything. It says, Professor Sada? The time machine has finally... She has finally been stopped. You're really not my mom, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. So proud of you, my... Sorry you were alone so long, Arvid... M mom Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Threat to time machine detected. Whoa, 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 what's going on now? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. What? Was keeping the time machine uh, running truly all the professor cared about? Locking all Pokeballs except those registered to Sada's ID. Wait, what? Program initializing. Gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. AI SADA disabled Paradise Protection Protocol initialized. You are not getting in my way. You're challenged by AI SADA? Nope. You're challenged by Paradise Protection Protocol. Uh, that's scary. Uh oh, what do you think is going to happen? What What is going to happen over here? We're going to find out. Oh my goodness. Paradise Protection Protocol, all like terrestrialized and everything like that, holding on to a Master Ball. She's going to bring out all these other random ancient Pokemon. What's going to happen? Oh, we're going to find out. Thanks for watching. Ooh, this is getting good. This is getting good. All right. What's going to happen? Predictions. Who's going to be in this Master Ball? She has an entire team of six Pokemon. Why does she have to play by the rules? Right? Why is she programmed to play by the rules for six Pokemon? She could bring like 50 Pokemon. And we'd have like a little area battle where we have to send out our let's go mode of Pokemon and just knock out all these other Pokemon, right? That'd be so cool. I mean, she's built to protect the entire time machine by all means necessary. So why wouldn't you bring out a million Pokemon? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. All right, here we go. Are you ready? It's a battle against Paradise Protection Protocol here in Pokemon Scarlet. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, sending out the big Coridon. Lucario in the Premier Ball, not coming out. It's locked. That's it. You can't battle without a Pokemon in the field. I have to go over there and, like, punch it. It's true, our Pokeballs won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? Uh-huh. Nope, we can't do it. Uh, some crazy electrical signal is jamming our Pokeballs. Even I can't get them open. Arvin, you got something to say? That's totally cheating, and you call yourself an adult. Wow. Well, I mean, we do have Coridon over here. Swap it in. It's the first time we were able to do that. That's right. And it was stated before that this is Professor Sada's Pokemon. So it has its Pokemon ID on it. This is the only Pokemon that they could use. Come on, little one. Do it. Stand up. 
Yeah, oh yeah, it's those sandwiches, man. There we go. All right, 1v1 me. Grah, okay. All right, which one's mine? Aura Chalcom Pulse. Sunlight turned harsh. Okay. Cool, look at our Pokemon. Great, so this is Coridon. Aura Chalcom Pulse. Turns a sunlight harsh when the Pokemon enters a battle. The Ancient Pulse uh, thrumming uh, through the Pokemon also boosts its attack stat in harsh sunlight. So whenever it's sunny out, you're going to boost your attack stat. That's great. By how much? I don't know. Pretty fun. So now we get to actually see Coridon for once, uh, which is so fun. Uh, you've got a couple different moves. Uh, quirky nature. Um, okay. Seems to have traveled across space and time to join me from blank. Okay. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Uh, base stats. Pretty offensive on attack, which is great. And we got a couple different moves over here that we have yet to find out. So, uh, Flamethrower, we know what that does. It's a special attack. Collision Course. The user transforms and crashes to the ground, causing a massive prehistoric explosion. This move's power is boosted more than usual if it's a super effective attack. We have Endure, and we also have Terra Blast as well. So that's going to be pretty cool. All right. Well, let's do some work. All right, I'm going to try for the burn. Let's try for the burn. Oh, look at him taunting. Oh, wow, first turn taunt, huh? It's all right. I was going to aim for it anyway. Here you go. It's a resisted hit. Very much so. Did not get the burn. It changed into its battle form. Let's go, Coridon. You got this. Uh, yeah, so the burn is not working. I'm going to try again. You will fall here within this garden paradise and achieve nothing in the end. Oh, you're trying for the burn too. Okay, great. We're doing so much damage. Wow. Okay, so he's not doing that much damage either. All right, you're gonna. We're gonna switch course here. Collision course. Go. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles uh, to my goals will be eliminated. Bulk up. Hey, that's not fair. Music is good. Collision course! Boom! Wow, that did so much more. This looks like it would be bad. Uh, hang in there, Abdallah. I don't know what's going to happen, man. Like, he got a bulk up under his... Uh, the data say I'm the superior. Fall and become the foundation upon which my dream is built. Giga Impact? Come on, man! Oh, we toughed it out so we wouldn't feel sad. Great, thank you. Yeah, we're not doing so hot. You took that hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. Hey, yo, plus two right now. So we're at one HP. But we got one we got one free attack now because he's recharging. Okay, that's a little bit better with that plus two. Oh man, can we really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Hey Abdallah, your Terra Orb's glowing. Abdallah, Karida and Terastalize and finish this off. Attack, defense, special attack, all I need is speed rising, thanks. Good, now I can outspeed this thing. Wow, look at that AI. Oh my gosh, yo, pan back at Sada, please. I just need to see her in this form, it's amazing. Anyway, Terastalize, we're gonna Terra Blast at one HP. Look at her, look at how epic that is. Oh, man. 
That's the reason why I picked Scarlet, you know. Here we go. Terra Blast. Terrastalize. Should be super effective. And it's based off of whatever attacks that stronger. So here we go. Should be outspeeding. And doing it. Our entire adventure together. Didn't even get swapped out once. Terra Blast. It's like a plus three. Boom. Wait a second. Uh oh. Hey, I got one HP. Oh, good. You toughed it out so I wouldn't feel sad. Plot armor. Show them you won't be pushed around. Time to terrestrialize and get in some super effective hits. <laughs> Plot armor is so good. Another Terra Blast. Boom! Oh, yeah. Oh, so cool. You defeated the Paradise Protection Protocol. Triple P. Down. What happens now? What happens to the time machine? You did it! It... It's not going berserk anymore? How? How very astounding. To think that you had managed to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes. A completely unforeseen outcome even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how difficult your own past may have been, I believe you'll be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now with pride. I thank you, Abdallah. I thank all of you children. But I'm afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I'm here. It appears I, myself, am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Now, oh, what does that mean? I'm sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures uh, from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied you your freedom. The way that you came together, working in the league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourself, throwing all you are into your battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never ceased to seek nor to fight for a treasure all your own. Ah, uh, the way that you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I too might be as free as you all, free to seek out that which I might treasure above all else, not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. So I've made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the ancient past that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now, right when we finally reached you. I'm not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that ancient world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Arvin, I'm so sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your mother truly loved you. You, you can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Arvin cried on Abdallah. It is a little sad, but I'm afraid that this is goodbye. Mom! Oh my... Arvin! Man, he's, he's taking all the hits, dude. Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu.
She's taking the book, too. She's going into the past. Will we ever see her again? We have to see her again. Dude, Arvin found out he just lost his mom. And now she's just gone. Any remnants of her. How could you just go? Mom. Arvin, you okay, bud? Yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but it... When it said my name, using her voice and wearing her face... Even if it was fake, it, it felt real, you know? And so I just... I... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's... that's okay. I guess Karidon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form, how cool is that? It's so strong. If it tries to nudge me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm gonna die. Hey now, let's not uh, skip over the big win here. Abdallah and Karidon just saved all of Paldea. Th that's right, you both did amazing. Thanks, Abdallah. Yeah, that's my pet Abdallah for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor is gone, I bet she's finally having a real fun adventure of her own in the past. Yeah, thanks, Penny. Um, yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Abdallah? Well, let's go home. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. pretty sad. Man, Arvin not even catching a break. What about Arvin's dad? What about Arvin's dad? Walking out on him when he was little, I think? That's what the one little diary thing said. Only grew up with a little pet dog the entire time, and then his dog got hurt? Man. Arvin, he's really good. I like his storyline a lot. I think it's better than Penny's. So Arvin is like, he's right up there. Arvin and Nimona, I like them both. Moving on, moving on. Here we go. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home and get a little bit more fun out of this adventure. I don't really... Sounds great. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Hey, Abdallah, not you too. It's like, come on, man. All right, fine. I guess we're doing this. Man, like, Ar Arvin's got a little bit of time to grieve, right? You need to give him some space. <sighs> That's rough for him, man. What a guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Good. We are not listening to Ed Sheeran. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Woo, that was a close one. Almost got that. Uh... Anyway, so that's it. That is the main story of Pokemon Scarlet. What did you think about that? We made it. We made it thus far, and we did it. So that was really, really cool. Uh, I thought the ending was pretty fun. Um, what else? What else? The game was just great. Yeah, overall, like, this is honestly one of the better Pokemon games, for sure. Um... Sword and Shield was great? Absolutely. This is better than Sword and Shield. I would definitely put that up there because it's a lot bigger and it's open world and it looks great. Storyline was so cool. I love the concept of going through 
and choosing one path, second path, third path, and then not even knowing it, but they all convened at the end for one final path. That was so, mm, chef's kiss, beautiful job. Storytelling was good. I think the, um, the battle mechanics, just going back to the basics of Pokemon where you have to run into them and battle them and catch them, uh, which is very, very like gen one. So I think that was okay. Um, I still feel that Pokemon Legends Arceus like did something for us that we've never experienced before with the amount of, I don't know, like kind of free roaming and actually having a character that can do stuff and, and have emotions and potentially get hurt by other Pokemon. Like I thought that, that was like so good. And the ability to just jump in the air and go in slow motion and toss some Pokeballs and catch stuff left and right. Like it was very skill based as far as like moving around. It wasn't necessarily press A to win um, in that game. And honestly, I think that from coming off of Pokemon Legends Arceus, which was a little bit early on in the year, I think it was honestly like a step backwards. I don't know, maybe unpopular opinion. I think it was a step backwards uh, because I really would have liked the option of tossing some Pokeballs uh, and catching wild Pokemon versus like, okay, I got to initiate the battle got to wait through all this stuff and then catch, whittle down their HP, toss a quick ball, right? Um, I would have liked that option. Or, you know what would have been better? If we had the ability to turn off combat animations. That was not a thing in version 1.1 or whatever it is. So, I mean, I wouldn't have minded if we turned off combat animations. I'm good, man. But, yeah. And not to mention that, like, the game is pretty bare basics when you think about it compared to other Pokemon games. Like, we haven't even talked about post-game or what's going to happen over here, so I won't spoil too much about what's going to happen in post-game, but I'm just going to let you know that it's pretty bare. Like, they forgot to program it, or they just ran out of time. So, that's honestly what this game really came down to. It came down to the boss saying, hey, you know what, we got to hit that November mark, otherwise we're going to miss holiday sales, and we're not going to be a great hit. We can fix the game later, right? Just stop what you're working on, package it all together, and push it out. So I think that's exactly what happened. And unfortunately, that's what all of the main Nintendo titles are recently. It's really just kind of rushed packaging and then like, oh, you know, we'll fix it later. Like Nintendo Switch Sports, we just got a reveal saying golf's finally on the way. Like, no, dude. Um, but that aside, uh, the graphics needed a little bit of work and polish for sure. Um, I, I think throughout this entire series here, the game crashed on me once. But overall, it was good, man. It was good. Um, I thought that the game was great. I had a great time with it, and I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue to enjoy this game for sure. We still have like 400 Pokemon to catch. Um, we didn't do. We didn't spend so much time going through and catching them all. So that's exactly what we have to do over here. So let's find all of the different exclusives. Let's go find all the different legendaries. Uh, let's go all uh, let's go all out. I think that's really where the next episodes are going to be. And once we get that shiny charm, it's like, okay, let's go do some shiny hunting and name some shinies after you guys, all you guys watching at home. I think that'd be super fun because we did that in uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. We just found some shiny Pokemon and uh, we've got some really fun ways of doing so. So that being said, let's continue on and see where this goes. Thank you, treasured friends. Thank you. Good game. Oh, it was a good game. Hey, look at that. All right. Look at these friends. Yay. Taking pictures. Great. And look at my nice dorm room. That's fully customizable, by the way. Right? I can put some Pokeballs on the walls. I can put some posters. I can put my gym badges. I can display my Team Star badges. I can do all that stuff, right? I can customize it and make it the way I want to. Calling students to the director's office. Wait a second, you're telling me I can't customize anything in this room? Oh, that was one of the things that they cut because they had to rush the uh, release date? Mm, I get it, I get it, okay. Understandable, thank you, have a good day. All right, Master Abdallah, Miss Nimona, Master Arvin, and Ms. Penny, Director Clavel would like to see you in his office. Oh, okay, going to the director's office apparently. Director Clavel, you mean Clive? Hello, 
Ha, huh, looks like the hero's finally here. Would you join us, Master Abdallah? Ah, uh, yeah. If you'll keep on calling me that. Uh, we're in for an earful, aren't we? Guess we'll find out soon enough. No need for concern, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. I merely called you here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. Uh, you shut down the professor's time machine and thus prevented the ancient Pokemon from running rampant across Paldea. Your actions were truly outstanding in every regard, and I couldn't be prouder of you all. Though your decision to enter a strictly off-limits area was admittedly regrettable. Huh, you got us there. However, since this was necessary to protect Paldea and its precious ecosystems, I'm willing to overlook that particular point. Phew, so we're not getting raked over the coals after all. Oh, before I forget, Master Abdallah, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends has received one already, so this one is for you. Oh yeah, Master Ball. Thank you. Put the Master Ball in the pocket. The very best Pokeball with the ultimate level of performance. With it, you will catch any wild Pokemon without fail. Cool. Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago. That gift is one we bestow only upon the students who achieve truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor what that badge represents by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. Yeah, hey, you can count on me. Splendid. Such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. And Master Arvin, I was so sorry to hear about the professor. You have my deepest condolences. Ah, well. Yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my mom had died. But weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now, for the first time in ages. In the Great Crater, I got to learn a bit about my mom's research and what she was trying to achieve down there. Uh-huh. I guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine, uh, that takes priority over showering your son with attention, huh? All I know is I'm done feeling like uh, some lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye and move on. I'm gonna enjoy every last day until graduation with my buds here. And my boss stiff, of course. Well said, Master Irvin. You truly are your mother's son. Of course, I must remind you that you're nowhere near enough credits to graduate. You'll need to study frantically to catch up, eh, but I have every expectation of your success. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> he's not catching a break. And let us not forget the other good news. Our academy has a new champion. Though we sadly cannot make your valiant deeds in the great crater known to the public, your new champion rank, at least, should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Oh, I know how we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon battle contest. Seriously? Could we not? Classic Nimona. A battle contest, you say? While your own vested interests in such a venture are more than apparent, Miss Nimona, I think it's a fine idea. But please understand that a large-scale event will be quite beyond us. We have many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Pardon my intrusion. I couldn't help but over here. The Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. La Primera. Well, well, a most kind offer, offer, Chairwoman Gita. I do everything in my power to nurture young and upcoming talent. Though that's not to say only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokemon battles. A former gym leader, the developer of the Pokedex app, this academy clearly counts many skilled trainers among uh, trainers of Pokemon among its staff. As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff should compete for the title of the strongest trainer at the academy. Whoa, we get to battle the teachers? You'd compete too? Right, Primera? Is that even allowed? The chairwoman's not part of the academy, right? Actually, I think she's the chairwoman of the school board as well as the Pokemon League. Wait, for real? I mean, I knew she was on another level, but wow. Thank you for the invitation, Champion Nimona. I would gladly gladly take up your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work that I simply must attend to. Aw, oh, can't you free up some time somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if Champion Abdallah would agree to lend me a hand with my work. Yeah, I'm a yes man in this game. 
Excellent answer, much obliged, Champion of Dollar. To get straight to it, I would like you to go out and inspect Paldea's various gyms in my stead. Are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming to achieve champion rank? Or has their brilliance started to fade? To find this out, I ask that you bring your full might as a champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and test their prowess in battle. They're all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personally. I do not expect you'll find any cracks in their armor, but, well, consider it a formality. This will also provide the perfect stage for your first appearance as a new champion. Since all the gym leaders will be expecting me to carry out the inspection, I imagine they'll have mustered their full strength. I dare say they might be more of a challenge than when you faced them before. You get to have all-out battles with the gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous. Now then, on to another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny here how to patch the weakness in our league point system. Um, but there's a bunch of anime I missed that I was just gonna binge. Thank you in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. God, I mean, i do it. I'll help. Let me help. Excellent. We'll leave you all to it, then. Come now, Penny. This is awesome, Abdallah. Show uh, this inspection thing who's boss so that La Primera can join our tournament, okay? And enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take care of filling out the forms and other administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournament in the meantime. I say it's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You each have a critical role to play. Penny assisting the league, our new champion inspecting gyms, Nimona arranging the event. Give it your best, everyone. And Arvin studying. Guess my role is so obvious it goes without saying. Yeah, man. Good luck, dude. You gotta go study up. Okay, use your map to find your next destination. Uh, yeah, we're done here. Uh, where do we want to go? Let's go out to the entrance hall. So, there's a lot going on in this game now, man. It just opens up for us. Uh, let's take a step outside and see exactly what there is to do in post-game. Right? She's just gonna binge anime? Like, get out of here. Anyway, so here we go. That was it. That's the game, man. That's that's the academy. So, you may be wondering, hey, Abdallah, what happens now, right? It's the end of the game. The world is your cloister. You can move around and do whatever you want. Unfortunately, I didn't really graduate because I'm still for forced to wear these clothes. Uh, so, that being said, uh, what the game tells you to do now is head back to each of these gyms. You can see over here. Um, the little exclamation marks are back. So we can go over here and battle all these gyms uh, if we want to. Kaskarafa, we can go to the Madali gym. Uh, we can head on over here and see Grusha again. Remember, Grusha destroyed us nearly. Um, and then we got Rhyme. We go challenge her to a rap battle. There's nothing with Team Star or anything like that. We can go say hi to Iono, get featured in a collaboration live stream. Uh, Artisan gym again, it says. So we can go battle all of those. Likewise, what we can do is we can continue on our Pokedex. As of right now, we have literally only 61 Pokemon in our Pokedex. That means that we've got to go through and find all 400 of them in order to earn ourselves a shiny charm. So that's the second thing that we can do. And then, of course, the last thing that we can do in post-game is going to actually befriend all of the professors in the entire academy simply by going through and actually going to school. Yeah, you can go to school, you can pass midterms, final exams, there's legit quizzes that you have to do. So you can go over here, talk to this lady over here, and you can go enroll in Biology 101, Math 101, History, Languages, Battle Studies, Art, Home Ec, all of those things, 101, and get that going. By doing so and befriending all of the um, teachers that teach those classes, you'll then learn a little bit more about their personalities, they'll actually give you some pretty good rewards along the way, and you'll complete the game even further. Like, those are the only real quests in the game. It's just like going through and like learning everything from school. Odds are you know all that stuff if you already watched any of my videos, so we can just test out of that really quick. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Oh, and here's Coridon's form. 
Uh, you can select Coridon in the main menu and add him to your party at any given time. But as soon as you go on the ride mode, he gets taken away from your party. So that's kind of how that works. So yeah, if we're looking at catching another uh, Coridon, we may have to go back to that crater and find all those Paradox Pokemon and see what we can do about that. But as of right now, that is going to be the end of the story mode for Pokemon Scarlet. What did you think about it? Was it awesome? Was it epic? I know it was. I thought it was so cool. Seeing Professor Sada like getting take over, taken over by like the terrestrialization and the robot and the blue eyes and like the scariness was so cool. Top tier, top tier, absolutely top tier. Anyway, we got some Pokemon to catch, so don't go anywhere. Thanks for watching. Woo, boy. Wow, what do you think? What did you think about that Jody 2? What did you think about the game, folks? Was it good? Was that a good ending? I honestly don't even know where we're going to start as far as next goes, man. We got a we got a lot of stuff to do, man. I don't have I don't have false swipe. If I can find that, don't you dare say that Jacques gives it to you. I know he does. I'm not going to go take a class. If I go find like a false swipe TM on the ground, I'll go get it. <laughs> um, because I would go teach that to Garchomp. Um, I have to go find the TMs. There we go. The TMs. And then once we find that, like, I, I'm down for, like, collecting all the Pokemon, right? There's got to be a location somewhere of that specific TM. Alright, here we go. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, it's biology. So you go over and, and you, you learn the biology class from Jacques. And then he ends up giving you the TM um, for False Swipe. Which is fine, right? I'm not in the mood to do any of the classes right now. I think we do the bulk classes all together in like one video uh, and learn a little bit more about that. But as of right now, man, like I'm just trying to find the location of it. Where are, I don't care about TM machines. I need TM locations, TM locations. Let me see. Anyway, uh, I don't mind. Would you guys want to, uh, you want to play a little bit more? You guys want to start collecting Pokemon in our Pokedex? Yeah, we totally can if you want. There's 171 TMs. False swipe. Talk to the professor after catching at least 30 Pokemon. Oh, that's actually not bad. I thought you had to go do a class. You know what? We can do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just got to catch at least Pokemon. You go talk to the pro professor. Dang it. Okay, that's not bad. I'll go talk to him. Uh, yeah, I, I'm good for that. I'm good for that. Uh, where should we even start? Should we even, like, should we even start collecting all the Paradox Pokemon? Like, I think that would be a great start if we head on over to the, um, all the way down into the crater, and then we do a Premier Ball challenge. We'd go try to catch Coridon. I think that'd be so cool, man. Okay, okay. That would be a really, really good kickoff to collecting them all, right? We go out there and we collect all the Paradox Pokemon. Uh, man, if only, if only I knew where they all were. Gosh. If only I knew where all the Paradox Pokemon were. Man, if only. Ah, uh, if only I knew where all 14 Paradox Pokemon and where to find them are. Gosh. <laughs> uh, I'd have to actually play through this and see exactly where they are again. Because uh, some of them are out and about, but there's two of them that are very, very hidden. Uh, and I would have to open this up and see what's going on. Uh, no, I'm just kidding with you guys. I was being sarcastic. I know exactly where they are because I made this video not too long ago. Anyway, so if you guys are looking for the Paradox Pokemon, just grab your controller, join along with me. We're going to go find them and we're going to go catch the Paradox Pokemon. How about we start with Coridon? We'll start with Coridon 
And we'll try to get him. Yeah, yeah, I think I think we can. I, I just gotta think of my strategy, though. Because, like, Coridon is a dragon fighting type. I mean, I can try to bring Palmo and, like, nuzzle him. But, like, Palmo is, like, really, really young. He's still a baby. He's still a baby, so... Um... How are we gonna get Coridon? And how many Pokeballs do I own, right? Like, how many... Ah, oh, this is this is quite interesting. I have 20 Premier Balls. You think we're gonna catch him in 20 Premier Balls? Hey, Abdal, you just use your Master Ball on him. No, fool. Absolutely not, man. Yo, we saved that Master Ball. That's like a flex. In all the Pokemon games, right? You save your Master Ball to flex that you didn't need it. Right? That's the big thing. I've been doing that since Generation 1, man. Uh, <laughs> old habits, dude. They die, they die hard. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how to play your game. Feel free. Use your Master Ball on Coridon, please. Have fun. But no, we're going Premier Ball Challenge, baby. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Give me an idea. How am I going to paralyze the guy? I mean, Garchomp's going to do the work with, with False Swipe. We can get him down to 1 HP, but like... How? He can't use fighting moves. What's his move set? I, I guess I would have to analyze his move set. Oh, Dragonite does have T Wave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, we're fine. Dragonite has T Wave. Thank you so much. Thanks for reminding me. What's up, Tristan? That was great. Good job, Laney. I forgot that I taught Dragonite T Wave. All right, here we go. We're going to remember moves. We're going to start off with that. Yeah. Oh my. How did I forget? We use Dragonite with T Wave. All right, Iron Head, Outrage. Yeah, we don't need Outrage for now. I'll relearn it. All right, let's go. Yeehaw! <laughs> Good work. Okay, are you guys ready? I think we're ready. I have to actually find out where um, where Sandy Shocks is. Because I don't really remember where Sandy Shocks is. Um, I'm like looking at my own video over here. And then I got to low-key remember where the rest of them are. Roaring Moon is really hard to find, too. Sandy Shocks is also hard. Okay, I can find Sandy Shocks. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. He's a Sandy Shock. He's a Sandy Sandy Shock. Okay, yeah, we got this. All right, I'm in. You guys want to get some Paradox Pokemon? All right, give me some big hype in the chat if you guys are ready. I'll We'll spend a good half an hour catching some Pokemon. Maybe we can do a couple of them. Maybe we'll spend an hour on it. I don't know. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Give me some big hype if you guys are ready. Oh man, Melissa's the only one ready. Here we go. Mm hmm. And Christy, good, good, good. And Stacy's ready too. Good. But do do do. All right, let's do it. Thanks for watching, by the way. Hope you guys are enjoying this. We got a huge amount of Pokemon to catch. Woo-wee! All right, let's do it. It's time. Oh, we're going back into that crater. We got some Pokemon to catch. So, welcome back to even more Pokemon Scarlet. Thanks so much for watching. So, Coridon is floating over there. We have to go catch that stray Coridon, right? Uh, but before we do so, we are going to need as much help as possible. So, let's head on over to the biology lab and go talk to Jacques. Jacques. So, if you caught more than 30 Pokemon in your adventures, you can talk to Jacques over here. And he'll give you some good stuff. Hey, hello, hello. Have you gotten used to things here at the Academy? I have. I step in here and do my classes every day, Jacques. Glad to see you're having fun. Oh, have you been using the Pokedex app? I'm the one who made it, you know. Every time someone using the app catches a Pokemon, the data gets sent to me. It's really helping my Pokemon research. Be sure to catch any new Pokemon you find and work on filling out your Pokedex. Your first goal is to aim for 30 Pokemon. Hey! Let me know once you've done so. I see you already registered 30 species. Hey, that's not too bad. Okay, good job, Jacques. Wow, so you caught this kind of Pokemon and this one? All this data, this is the best. 
Uh, sorry about that, got a little excited there. Uh, I get the feeling that you're going to be a great help in my Pokemon research. Here, take these. Consider it my way of saying thanks. Hey, false swipe, that's what we needed. Thank you. Great, great. You sure are good at catching Pokemon, aren't you? For the next goal, let's aim for 100 species. Remember, when you find a Pokemon you've never seen before, give it a Pokeball. Uh, give a Pokeball a throw. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so, False Swipe is a great move because that allows a Pokemon to do an attack that does uh, as much damage as it physically can. And then, it leaves them on 1 HP. Let me see, False Swipe, False Swipe, here we go. Uh, use this. None of my other teammates can learn it uh, outside of my cat, but Garchomp's naturally stronger than the cat. So we're going to use it on Garchomp right over here. We're going to replace a move of Rock Tomb. It definitely does not need to know that. And then we have False Swipe on him. Super cool. Uh, he's good. Garchomp learns it. And this Garchomp, remember, you can get him at like level 65. And he's going to be really, really strong for you. So why not do it? And if you're worried about, oh, that's my only False Swipe TM. No. You can actually, as soon as you obtain a TM, you can go back to the TM machine and buy as many as you want. So if you have a Pokemon that is a really good False Swipe user, like Gallade, for example. Like, I usually default to Gallade in all my Pokemon playthroughs uh, because he has access to Hypnosis. So he can do everything in one, like, one utility Pokemon. He's great. Um, so, that being said, you can put that on anyone. All right, here we go. Enough talk. Let's go. Uh, do I have enough Poke... Is 20 enough? Is 20 Premier Balls enough? I don't think so. So, let's go to the shop. And let's go buy, like, maybe 20 more. Uh, we gotta sell whatever treasures we have in our pockets. Uh, we have tiny bamboo shoots and whatnot. Don't need that. Big bamboos. Get them out. Oh, we found a Comet Shard for 12,000? Please. Absolutely. Rare Bones? We got five of them. Oh, we got money. Look at this right now. Pretty Feather? That's right. Goodbye. Okay, so we got 171,000. Um, and we can sell some more Pretty Feathers if we want to. But we're good. I think right now is I'll buy some Pokeballs. Alright, here we go. Can I just buy? No, I can't. That's a Heal Ball. Okay, so here we go. Uh, just give me a regular Pokeball. We'll buy... I don't know, like 200 of them? That's 20. I'll buy 300. That's 30 more Premier Balls. Right? 300 Pokeballs, and we get 30... That's 50 Premier Balls. I don't think we'll need any more. So, all right, here we go. We're going to sell. I don't need any of these Pokeballs at all. So I'm going to sell them and recoup some of my money back. A quarter of my money back. So we're recouping my money back. We're good. I can't sell the Master Ball, thank goodness. Uh, but I do have 50 Premier Balls, so like I'm ready to go Premier Ball Challenge on this bad boy. Okay, so... Here we go. You ready? Let's go. We're going to go straight over here. We're going to fly right over to the zero gate. And we're going to make our way all the way down to the very bottom where we will find Coridon, the aggressive Coridon that we battled in the previous episode. Oh, we're getting him. Got to catch him all. Here we go. You ready? Hello! Not getting hurt by heights at all. Alright, so this is great. So now, as soon as we jump down here, we're going to notice a lot more of the Paradox Pokemon floating around in the grassy areas here. Which is real fun. So here we go. Here's one. Um, that's that one. Remember him? Yeah, he came out and he attacked me, didn't he? Oh, so fun. And then there's Screamtail just chilling out over here. And uh, we'll find Sandy Shocks. We'll find Flutter Mane. We'll find all of them just kind of like running around in this overworld here. So will we catch them all? Oh, absolutely. Not right now. I got my sights set on getting Coridon. That's our number one right now. So our best bet right now, this, this is actually really huge. This entire area... If you take a look at it, just this vista, it's so gigantic. And certain Pokemon will populate this entire area. 
So if you thought that the overworld was huge, no. This entire region, this great crater, is gigantic. It's like low-key bigger than all of like one region in Legends Arceus. So it's its own place. Anyway, we're going to go to research station number four. Oh, can we go to the zero gate? I think I like research station number four. Yeah, yeah, this will be fun. Here we go. There we are. Oh, he's there. You see him? You see him waiting? Oh, we're just going to hang out right here. Because we need to make sure that we are ready to go. Here we go. We're going to press the... Uh, there's Dragonite. Ready to paralyze. We're going to save the game. And we're going to get the drop. We're going to get the drop on Coridon. Surprise attack. Boom. Here we are. Wow. Look at him. Oh, there's a Jigglypuff behind me. No. Screamtail, leave me alone. Are you the guardian? No, leave. That's... Whoa, hey, hey, hey! Yo, Screamtail. Yo, I'm going right back up. Screamtail, push me off, man. La okay, okay, I'm going. I'm going, I'm going. Here we go. This is it. Coridon. This is your extra Coridon. So if you're looking at doing a trade, you catch this guy, and then you can trade another person with a version for the extra Maridon. If you can catch it. And you're cool if you can catch it in... Uh... Whoa, shiny Dragonite? Just kidding. It looked like it through the lens, right? Green Dragonite? Wow, look at that. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's do Thunder Wave starting off. Oh my... Ooh. It hurts, man. Miss. Do it again, buddy. Try again. Here we go. I hope I'm able to do this. He's a seven, level 72? Dude, you are going to throw your Master Ball. Uh, I guess I'm going to Earthquake. Hey, that's not too bad. That's that's decent damage. Collision core is gonna hurt. All right, here we go. Give me another earthquake. Don't crit. Don't crit. It's good enough. Now it would be great if Dragonite faints right now. That's ah, not okay. It's not fainting. Okay. Uh, I'm going to switch over to Garchomp, Garchomp right now. We're going to proceed to False Swipe. Uh, switching in and taking a free hit is unfortunate right now. So we're going to have to see if maybe he gets fully paralyzed. Giga. Oh my gosh. Garchomp just came right into that. Okay. So Harsh Sunlight is gone. How much damage did that do? That did a majority of my health. Congratulations. Here we go. False swipe. Probably two of them. Maybe even three of them. Okay, Coridon's gonna recharge. Speaking of recharge, I'm going to recharge myself. Uh, I guess I'm gonna max potion. Yikes, I didn't go shopping for potions, man. I never bought anything besides a couple super potions back at the beginning. So these are like thanks to um, Nimona. You know, a Pokemon that can use Charm would go really, really far over here. Because I'm just gonna get owned. That's not even 1 HP. Good, good, good. Now it's gonna be 1 HP. One more hit, one more hit. Watch, watch, watch. Now this is a true 1 HP paralyzed Pokemon. Very true. If I get knocked out, I'm fine. Alright, here we go. Now we proceed to Premier Ball Challenge. Ah, uh, oh man. I really just want to heal up Garchomp because he's going to be taking a lot of these hits. 
All right, what's the move set over here? Collision course, Giga Impact. Dude, that hurts so much. Collision course, Giga Impact, Flamethrower. And what's his other move? Wow. One Premier Ball. Come on. It's supposed to shake in midair. Ah. I gotta press on I gotta press and hold up and B, man. You're doing it wrong. Remember because some of you guys do that. Oh, dang it. Oof. Big break. Hey. There we go. Alright, alright, that's fine. You can break right out of it. Giga Hertz. Maybe a KO. Wow, cool. Okay, okay. Curse is actually going to be really good with Vaporeon over here. So, I'm going to try that. Because the only thing that I could get hit by is Flamethrower. I'm going to use one Curse on the free turn. Vaporeon's gonna absolutely do this work right now. Curse Vaporeon? Don't sleep on it, man. Uh, actually, Acid Armor is better. Yeah, I don't need the attack stat, but okay, sure. Premier Ball, go! Nope. Wow. Flamethrower. Good shot. Come on, man. One, two. Oh, dude, two shakes. Really close. Giga hurts. A crit on Giga? Am I done? Wow, man. Dude, even... Wow, okay, okay. That's rude. That's just actually rude. Okay. Skeledurge is honestly the biggest counter against this guy. Little did you know, he resists the flamethrower. Collision Course and Giga Impact don't do any damage to him. Wow. Way to go, Skeledurge. One. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go. No. If only Skeledurge had, like, flash fire, he would completely wall this. Yes! Oh, dude, what? Three shakes and a crack out? No way. Bulk up is his last move. Wow, Skeledurge has got this. And Skeledurge doesn't even need to worry about it. It's just flamethrowers. So, you know what? This is the perfect counter. All we have to do is sit... All we have to do is sit back and do the work. Wow. It's just a patience game now. Get it, man. We gotta jump through all these hoops. Yeah? That's the one. Got it. Cool. Premier Ball catch, baby. That's right. Get Coridon with a critical capture in midair. Ooh, that feels good. All right. Coridon, the Paradox Pokemon. Yes. This seems... Wow, here we go. Uh, this seems to be the Winged King mentioned in an old expedition journal. It was said to have split the land with its bare fists. Whoa. Apex build. Dragon fighting, second Coridon. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Why was there a cutscene of Coridon sounds? No idea. But we got ourselves a. Oh gosh, look out. We got ourselves a Coridon. Let's take a look at him. Uh, he's right over here. I'll put him in uh, box eight. 
Ding ding. Let's take a look at the summary. A hey, hey, one HP. There we go. Had a couple more collision courses on it. Uh, the nature is adamant. Adamant nature. Really good. Really good adamant nature. Uh, this is graph view. Okay, so he's he's fresh. He's ready to go. No EVs. Uh, yeah, and I think. Oh, yeah, I can't do any judge function yet, but um, very soon. I just got to go talk to a Pokemon Center. But anyway, we got him in a Premier Ball, so I'm set with that. And then, of course, we got that other cat in the Premier Ball, too, so I'm good. So what I need to do now is let's use a couple of revives uh, on our Garchomp, and let's go get the rest of the Paradox Pokemon. All right, here we go. Okay, come here, Screamtail. You're mine. Okay. Yep, that's the one I wanted. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's do false swipe. Fucking Screamtail here. Boom. Wow, that's actually nothing. And I'm going to eat a super effective hit. Cool. Wow, Screamtail. That's pretty rude, dude. Mmm, man. Wow. Okay. So the capture rate of a of a premier ball is the exact same thing as a regular pokeball. So it's the lowest. I think I think the only thing lower than a premier ball catch is like a dusk ball in the day or a beast ball on a non-beast pokemon, a non-ultra beast pokemon. Garchomp is going to get rocked, man. Here we go, premier ball challenge. Let's go. What? Garchomp's getting rocked. Okay. Um, I think I have to go back to the surface. Or, like, let me go sleep in Sada's bed. Come on, Screamtail. There we go. Wow. Man. Hello? Wasting all my good Premier Balls over here. Okay, you know what? I'm done. You're so mean. I don't have a status effect on this guy, so Premier Ball's not gonna work. Are you trying to get caught or what? Thank you. There's Screamtail. Okay, great. Got it. That was a little hard. I need to go sleep in a bed, dude. Scream tail. Cool. There has been only one reported sighting of this Pokemon. It resembles a mysterious creature depicted in an old expedition journal. Great. Yeah, hey, uh... Okay, how do I get out of here? This place looks pretty cool. We gotta go get that uh, Great Tusk. We gotta go get, um, who else? Slithermane, ooh, sir, thanks. We gotta go get Slithermane. Whoa, here we go, Slithermane. I gotta go find the bed? Yeah, we gotta go take a nap. Oh, it was wireless, too bad, don't care. I will get all these Pokemon. These are like all super rare Pokemon over here. Like, I haven't even caught any of them, but I'm excited to it. I'm excited to do it. Where's the bed? Here's the bed. All right, so let's go catch some more Paradoxes. I'm good for that. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So, um, we have in this area... We can get Great Tusk. We can get Flutter Mane. I think we can get Brute Bonnet. Let's go look around. Let's see if we can look around a little bit. I don't need... I'm not going to go for anyone else. I understand that I need all of these Pokemon, but I've got my target locked. Oh, gosh. What did I just step on? Get out of here. Get it, get it, get it. We're running. Okay, don't need you. Don't need... Oof, good. 
That doesn't count. Great. All right, where are we? Flood of Main and Brute Bonnet. And then the really hard ones are um, the Dragon, the Salamence. That's a hard one to find. But he only spawns in one area. So I'll show you where that area is soon. Let's see if we can get all these guys first. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, we'll bring Garchomp. He's ground fighting, so I can't paralyze him. Oh, gosh. Not yet, Garchomp. we got to sneak up on him for a free hit. There we go. Free hit. It's like Legends Arceus, if you remember that. Here's Great Tusk. Uh, since he is fighting ground, I think an Earthquake should be okay. I don't think it's going to KO. Should be bulky on the defensive side, yeah. Uh, okay, good. And then I'll proceed to False Swipe and win. Wow, that's three False Swipes. Knock off? Not going to happen. And we could probably do one more. There we go. Okay, a true 1 HP. Premier Ball, go. Really? You're gonna do me like that? Great. Oh, goodness. Oh, gosh. So strong. Woo! Come on, Tusky. Really? I mean, he's just trying to make it interesting. He's like, dude, you can't just simply qu quick ball me. That'd be too easy. Thank you. How rude. Uh, no, we're fine. Okay, great. Tusk is done. Moving on. Skeledurge, Fire Blast? No, thanks. Okay, here we go. Great Tusk. Now, with Great Tusk, after you beat the Titan, you can actually get Great Tusk in the overworld. Sightings of this Pokemon have occurred in recent years. The name Great Tusk was taken from a creature listed in a certain book. It almost seems like the names were kind of an afterthought. Right? Like, these names were... I don't know. Why didn't they actually name them? If you had the option of naming that Great Tusk Pokemon into something other than Great Tusk... What would you have named it? Oh, sweet brute bonnet! I don't know where you... Oh, that's that's the front of your head. Uh, I, I guess we're gonna fight. Brute bonnet. Let's do a... Oof. I guess I'm doing an earthquake. Wow, that's a three-hit KO, just about a payback? Okay, we'll do it. Yeah, it was uh, quite interesting, the names over here. Brute Bonnet. I would have liked to see uh, a different name, let's per se, but... Wow, come on, man, just really got my energy off of that, huh, dude? And Sucker Punched me? Yeah, now we're ready. You're ready to bake. Here we go, Brute. No, we're not ready, huh? Garchomp's gonna get rocked. Goodbye. Alright, let's do it. Come on, Dragonite. Come on in, do a T-Wave really quick. And then let's giddy up. If he wants to do a Giga Drain, it's gonna be four times resisted. So we'll be okay. Ooh, or we just throw a Premier Ball, because that's what I wanted to do. Because we didn't need a T-Wave. Okay, maybe we did. Thrashing. Oh, he might... He might hit himself in confusion after his Thrash is done. Okay, here's a T-Wave. He's got, like, maybe 5 HP right now. Here's a second thrash. He might KO himself, guys. This has to work. Oh, come on, buddy. Shake. No. One, two, three. Catch. Good. Great. Perfect. We needed that. Excellent. 
Okay, so we're looking for Fluttermane right now. We haven't seen Fluttermane in this cave yet, so I'm kind of getting a little worried here that we might not find it. Okay, Brute Bonnet. Uh, it is possible that the creature listed as Brute Bonnet in a certain book could actually be this Pokemon. That's not a Pokedex description. Like, at all. It tells me nothing about this. This is like saying, Oh, hey, or, hey, Intern 4, are you done with those Pokedex descriptions for those Paradox Pokemon? It's like, yeah, yeah, I know they're due tomorrow, I'll be alright. So then he oversleeps the next day and he's like, Oh man, I, I gotta come up with something for these descriptions. And then this is the description that he came up with. Yeah. That's not a Pokedex description, man. Tell me about how Brute Bonnet um, likes to hide, likes to disguise itself in the bushes and prey on smaller Pokemon as they walk past. Like, give me something like that. Because that's why he's got those draping green, like, grasses, right? Like, give me, make up something. Make up something, dude. No? Brute Bonnet, this other thing. Cryogonal? Yeah, right. Like, how to get the moss hair. Exactly, exactly. These are my questions, man. Where, oh, where is Fluttermane? I'll find, I'll find Fluttermane. I'll find you. Maybe not here, but soon. Whoa, Zvilus. Flood of main. Okay, let's catch one more. We're gonna try to catch one more, if anything. It's gotta be Flutter. I don't think Flutter Main comes out here. I think Flutter Main is exclusive in the cave. I think I'm gonna take one more spin, but let me go heal up really quick. Because uh, my Garchomp got rocked. Ancient Among Us, right? All right, let's go back into the bottom cave over there. We'll find ourselves a flutter main and then go from there. Should be fine. Location fl or flutter main. Yeah, yeah, flutter main. Here we go. I mean, we could find flutter main in the grass too, apparently. But it's also in the cave, so I'm going to go find it in the cave. Here we go. I just need a little bit of good luck. Oh, and I can't false swipe flutter main either because he's ghost psychic. So that's a little unfortunate. We're just going to have to make do. So if that's the case, I'm bringing Dragonite, and we're going to go get him. Yo! Whoa, here we go. Fluttermane, I'm looking for you. Come on, come on, wherever you are. Hello? Oop, wrong spawn. Oop, wrong spawn. Nope. So there's a lot of spawn areas over here for these Pokemon. You can see them just kind of popping up. Like, that's great and all. But these are these are the Pokemon that I don't need. Oh, look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Wow. Tell me about that. Tell me. Please. This game is so good. Wow. Look at that. Collision is good, man. What's collision? What, what does collision mean? Is that supposed to mean something to you? No, man, that's just Great Tusk's ability. You're, you don't see me. You do see me. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll see this! Oh, dang it. Okay, so we found Fluttermane. Dragonite, go! Dazzling Gleam, what are you doing? Ghost Fairy? Okay, got the paralysis. We might lose Dragonite, but that's okay. I'm gonna do a Thunder Punch. What? <sighs> okay. Oh, man. Really? Just one hit? Oh, my gosh. Okay, and that took a while for us to find that guy. Great. Great. 
Dragonite, man, you're too strong. I used my weakest move. It's not stab, but I guess it's coming off a of Dragonite. And I guess that ghost has literally no defense, so... Let's try again. Let's try again. Here we go, Flood of Main, round two. Thunder Wave. Ouch, man. That hurts. Miss. Great. Okay, 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 okay. Let's talk about that. Stop! Crit? Special attack? Alright, come on. Okay, here we go. Fluttermane has fire moves. Ghost moves. Uh, who's gonna... Ooh, Vaporeon could do, like... Vaporeon could do, like, a Surf, I think. And knock, and not knock it out. Maybe an Ice Beam. Ice Beam is not Stab. So that's gonna be the weakest. It's not gonna get frozen. It's not super effective. Mystical Fire is the coolest move. And he lowers my special attack stat. Perfect, perfect. Here we go, here we go. Good, 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 good. Wow, that's great damage. Okay, we can deal with that. If we're gonna get all these, uh... These Paradox Pokemon in, uh... In Pokeballs that are of the premier variety, then absolutely. Okay, I kind of want to do one more. But I have a feeling. I have a feeling that... Yes! Great! Good calculations of hit points. And now, we toss our Premier Ball. And we catch him. Yeah! Oh, floating in the air! Magical Premier Ball! Watch out! Oh, I love that, man. I love that so much. Vaporeon, you did great. You did 100% what you were supposed to. Absolutely love it. Let's go, Garchomp. That was awesome. Garchomp, do it. Premier Ball, go. Wow, not even a shake. You know, this moveset is actually really good. It's covering a lot of weaknesses here, right? It's got Mystical Fire against the Steel types. Man. Shadow Ball against all the Ghost types. Pretty intense, man. Alright, let's do it. Last one, man. Dude, really? Wow, I am at a loss on this guy. Thank you. Okay, Fluttermane caught, perfect. Getting all these Paradox Pokemon, man. We are into this. All right, next up. Ooh, here we go, here we go. This Pokemon has characteristics similar to those of Fluttermane, a creature mentioned in a certain book. Wow, tell me more. Oh, oh, you're, oh, that's, that's very descriptive of a Pokedex entry. It has characteristics similar to, so let's like define, when someone asks you, hey, what does that word mean? And you use the word to define the word in the definition. It's like, oh yeah, who's Fluttermane? Oh, well, I don't think you've seen it before, but this is Fluttermane. Like, no, 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 but but who's Fluttermane, though? And you're like, oh, yeah, well, there's a picture of him in the book, and, and it says his name's Fluttermane. <laughs> what an afterthought. Wow, man. A creature mentioned in a certain book. Like, what? Oh, gosh, help me. Okay, anyway, that, that's a good pause point right there. We got a couple more of the Paradox Pokemon to catch. We're gonna go catch them and it's gonna be a great time. So let's keep on going. We still have to get Sandy Shocks. We have to get uh, Roaring something or other. Uh, and we have to get, uh, fl what is it, something moon? Flying moon? No, I don't remember his name. Here, you know what, here, I'll show you. 
Let me show you really quick on who it is. Pokedex, go. All the way at the end. It is called Slitherwing. Sandy Shocks and Roaring Moon. We gotta get three of the next Pokemon and we're gonna get them in Premier Balls. And then that's all of the Paradox Pokemon. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I'm into it. All right, let's keep on going. I'm excited for it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We're getting all the Paradox Pokemon. Good job. Dude, tell me about these Pokedex descriptions though. Am I the only one noticing this? That these last Pokedex entries are very lazily written? And tell me anything about it. Like, what? The fun thing about Pokemon is the the crazy outlandish descriptions that they put in there. Like, Torkoal can withstand 50 billion degrees Fahrenheit, or something like that. And you're like, oh, dang, yeah, it's real cool, man. So, like, if he stepped foot on Earth, like, literally, the ground would crumble underneath him. and he'd go straight down because he melts it all. Like, I want some really crazy cool descriptions that kind of show exactly what that is, right? Like Fluttermane. Um, people in ancient times used to uh, run away in fear as the manes would pick them up and take them away, never to be seen again. Like something like that, like Drifloon. Taking like a page out of Drifloon's chapter, where the Fluttermane is actually used to pick up people and take them into different areas, never to be seen again. Like, give me something like that. Like, that's a ghost type. Give me a cool, creepy Pokedex entry. Not this last minute garbanzo. I forgot to do my homework, so I'm just going to scribble this right before the teacher asked me to turn it in. Pokedex entry. Just throwing it out there, man. Anyway, uh, what do you guys say? Another half an hour? You guys want to do another half an hour of uh, Pokedex collecting? We could. We could absolutely. All right, so let's take a look. Slitherwing is all the way up top. I remember seeing one. Sandy Shocks? It's going to be a little bit harder. Uh, Sandy Shocks is going to be going to research station number one, I believe. Um, let's go. Sandy Shocks. No, I, I don't like... No, you can't stick up for it. Autumn says, because they haven't been heard of yet. No, that's not factual, right? So if I give this data over to Jacques, who's accessing all this Pokemon data, he said it before himself... As the Pokemon data is coming over to me, like, he should be able to be knowledgeable to research in that gigantic library that he has to learn a little bit more about it, right? Or at least there should be some sort of, like, story that Jacques's like, oh, yeah, here, look, according to these ancient history texts, because there's another history teacher, you can just make up that the history teacher has these other ancient books that talk about them, right? Because the history teacher already knows about the locked Chinese Pokemon that are based on those, like, those gates and those shrines so she can easily have a book that says okay well this is supposedly what happened back in the day right like mm, i don't think so stop sticking up for it it's lazy all right moving on sandy shocks uh this one's going to be research station number one all right i just gotta look and see where this is at uh, according to my own video here this is great so I'm going to go over here. Oh, wow. Sandy Shocks is just out there. Great. Okay, so Sandy Shocks is just outside of uh, research station number one. And Roaring Moon is just outside of research station number three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you're running past the tree. Okay, great. Number one and three. All right, you guys ready? Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's time. To collect even more Pokemon, welcome to it. We got a lot of Pokemon to catch, but today is really all about finding the, uh oh, finding the leftover Pokemon that are, um, that are the Paradox Pokemon. There's really only three left. We got Sandy Shocks, we've got uh, Slitherwing, and we have Roaring Moon. So let's go find all of those. They are completely on the top area where the green grass grows. So let's figure out where that's at. Just so that if you guys are playing along with and you're looking for these cool Paradox Pokemon, you can absolutely hang out. Here we go. Whoa. All right. So what I want to do is I want to get inside this research station. We're going to go back to number one. And hopefully we can kind of find some Pokemon. Uh, and let's go take a nap. 
I'm going to go take a nap over here. So does that all make sense when we were kind of looking at all these journal entries in the uh, in the previous episodes when we were kind of reading them? Uh, Sada's like, man, there's so much work. I wish I had an assistant. And then so Sada just like ends up figuring out how to clone herself into an AI. Like what? She's like, yeah, my assistant is competent and actually doing the work alongside me, right? Weird. And so now that we know in hindsight that Sada is like an AI, you can watch the series all the way over again and watch all the interactions. And you can kind of see exactly what was going on with her the entire time. Like the first time she introduces herself to us, she goes, Ah, Abdallah, student number B O zero one two three. And you're like, What? How would you know that? Weird. Okay, but nice to meet you. Um, and then all throughout these like later times, um, you notice that she's just acting weird. Okay, so Sandy Shock should spawn right over here. So I'm gonna like I'm gonna walk around a little bit. I think this is it. Frostmoth, cool. Yeah, you ever think about that? I don't think you have thought about that. Yeah, I'm gonna go in and out over here and we're gonna see if we can get it. Or we can go get Roaring Moon, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that was really interesting to see that she just straight up cloned herself into an AI. Like, what? Could you imagine? You know, that just brings the whole concept of Westworld to Paldea, right? Because, like, we may be wondering why all the... Care oh, sweet! That's exactly who we needed. We may be wondering why all the Pokemon in... Or why all the NPCs in Paldea are so lifeless. Well, maybe they're... Maybe they're AI that came up out of the crater. Anyway, here's Slitherwing. Alright, so we needed Slitherwing. A level 55 taking a level 75 Thunder Punch. I'm not... There's two of them in the area, so if I knock it out, I'll be okay. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna do a Thunder Punch. Wow, great. Cool. Nice lunge. Alright, so this little Volcarona looking thing, real cool. I love this design. I think these are definitely the most unique designs out of a lot of the Pokemon. Um, it's like, hey, take a take a Volcarona and, and make it into something else. Like, Alright, cool. Gladly. Hey, take a Jigglypuff and make it into a different form. Okay. Right? Could you, th could you imagine if these were like scrapped Pokemon ideas? Like way back in the day in whatever generation Volcarona came out. What if this was the original form of Volcarona? And the one that we had before. Oh, dude, that thing healed? Oh, that's not nice. And then the original one was just like, uh, something else. Alright, so that was kind of rude, this thing right over here. So I'm just going to liquidation. I didn't realize it had morning sun. Oh, gosh, here we go. Do it again. Okay, fine. You're going to run out of power points, man. You only got five of those. Keep it up. Go, 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 go. Look at that. Beautiful. Go, Premier Ball. Yeah, that feels good. Okay, so this is exactly who we're looking for. Um, and I'm hoping that we can continue on. Okay, here we go. We need Sandy Shocks. He's right over here by this little rock, so I just got to keep on going. All right, this mysterious Pokemon uh, has some similarities to a creature that an old book introduced as Slitherwing. Yep. Yep. 
Yeah, it does. Oh, great. Using the word to define the word. All right, where, dude, where's Sandy Shocks, man? He is not coming out today. Wow, that's a, that's a, that's actually one of the better Pokedex entries in the game. Bam, bam. Knackle stack. Where are you? No, you're not the one that's supposed to spawn there. Get out of here, you little bug. All right, almost. We're we're almost there. Just gotta keep trying. All right, we'll get it. We'll get it. Hey, you know these. I'd love to see you guys try to write a Pokedex entry and make something up that's canon. <laughs> In five minutes. I'd love to see how well you do that. Good luck. Oh man, not these knackle stacks. Dude, wrong Pokemon. Hooah! Get it, get it, get it. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. Are you here? Come on out, my friend. Calling Sandy Shocks. Ugh. No, not coming out today. Zero Pokemon spawn. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so that like that's unacceptable. The fact that the game is just so slow in loading, like, that's not cool. And that's not okay. What is this? You just loaded one on me. No. <laughs> Get it. Get it. Sandy Shocks. Are you here? No, you're not. We can find a lot of cool Pokemon. Oh, hey, there you are, buddy. Hey, there he is. There he is. Hi. Hello. Uh, he is electric, so... Oh, he's coming. Oh, good lord, he's coming. He oh, he coming. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, look at this weird-looking thing. You mean to tell me that Magnemite used to look like this when he was older? Wow. Okay, let's talk about this. All of my moves are, like, super effective against it. Talk to me. What is the anatomy of this thing? Sandy Shocks has little magnets for arms. It's got hair. It's got magnets for legs. It's got a cool looking tail. Like, this is a cool looking Pokemon. Like, so over the years, it like got rid of its hair and got rid of its legs in order to just float. That makes sense. What do you guys think of the Pokedex entry for this guy? I'm going to read you the Pokedex entry verbatim. It's going to say, This Pokemon appears to be the Pokemon named Sandy Shocks in a mysterious book. Wow. What if? Do it. Do it. <laughs> Alright, we got Sandy Shocks. I'm so happy. Okay, here we go. Sandy Shocks is in the Pokedex. Here we go. No records exist of this Pokemon being caught. Data is lacking, but the Pokemon's traits match up with a creature shown in an expedition journal. Yeah. No records of exist of this Pokemon being caught. But Jacques, I, I physically caught one and I'm, I'm, I'm transcribing data to you as we speak. So there is a record of me catching one. <sighs> wow. Wow. That's wrong. 
There is a record. How else would you have the Pokedex entry? Look, there's a sleeping one over there. All right, that's actually pretty good. All right, let's get out of here, man, before I get even more upset at these great Pokedex entries. All right, you ready? Let's go. All right, so we're going to go to station number three. <laughs> it's like when you when you have an essay and you have to hit a certain word count and you just put filler and you describe random stuff. I remember doing that when I was in school. It's like, you need a 500 word document. I'm like, oh gosh, how am I going to pad this out? Yikes. All right, well, either way, here we go. We're going to find the, the best Pokemon out of all of them. This one, Roaring Moon, is the most hidden one. You guys didn't even see this little alcove over here. I bet you didn't. Guess what? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Watch out, Chansey. Cool. Roaring Moon. Where are you? Oh, you're supposed to be right here. This is your spawn point. See, the thing is, my character was going so far fast forward that none of the assets loaded none of the pokemon loaded over here yo timid mint let's talk about that thanks lichen rock dusk golduck uh-huh yep so maybe try walking hey there's pomo hi buddy So this is the cave where you're going to get a lot of rare spawns in the game. Including- Oh, there he is! Nice! Oh, yeah, there he is. Look at him, look at him. Yo, is that a Mega Salamence? Yeah, it is. Roaring Moon, man, look at this thing. Oh, so cool. So I think that this is probably one of the better designed um, Pokemon, the Paradoxes. Absolutely. Because I love Mega Salamence, and I love Mega Evolution in general for Pokemon. I think it's like the coolest thing. Uh, I'm going to do a Thunder Punch. Roaring Moon. Do we guys, you guys want to try to guess the Pokedex entry for Roaring Moon? Roaring Moon. <laughs> Roaring Moon. It's possible that this is Roaring Moon listed in a book of ancient times, right? Go, everyone at home. Make your best non-Pokedex entry for this Pokemon here. It's funny. Alright, we're gonna go Pokemon. There is no date. No one's ever caught this Pokemon before, but it looks like a sketch in an expedition journal. I think we're getting used to it. We're used to the Pokedex entries. That's right. Roaring Moon. It's been found in the wild. Oh, is that right? Okay, great. I like that one. Good. I like that one. You know, I don't even think that they'd go so far as to describe that it roars at the moon. They would not ever describe it. Oh my gosh, help me. One, two, nope. <laughs> wow, what is he doing? <laughs> That's right, Roaring Moon. No one's ever caught this Pokemon, but it looks like the Roaring Moon in the book, in a random book. It's, yeah, it, it, I don't, I'm very curious of what the Japanese versions of these Pokedex entries are. Is it maybe the, the Japanese Pokedex entries have actual, like, content? And then, like, the US team just didn't, the, the translator was out sick for a day? They're like, oh man, we need to translate these entries, man. Like, what are you going to write? He's like, well, I can't make up something, so I'm just, just going to put something neutral. I'm just going to fill it. There's got to be an explanation on why they didn't, like, expand out the lore. There's got to be a reason, man. I don't know what the reason is, but I'm, I'm kind of sad.
Come on, Roaring Moon, we got you. Garchomp fainted, that's okay. So, yeah, the fact that, like, Salamence looks like this is pretty cool. Because when it Mega Evolves in, like, the present time, it has that in its DNA. And then it extracts from it. Which is so good. Like, there's so much lore that can be made with this Pokemon. Because the design of that crescent shape is exactly what it looks like when it Mega Evolves. Although it loses its arms, right, whenever it Mega Evolves. Roaring Moon! Here we go! Here we go! Good! Good, check this one out. It is possible that this is the creature listed as Roaring Moon in an expedition journal that still holds many mysteries. Wow, that's great, man. That's real good. Many mysteries. That's top notch. Cool. Roaring Moon. Well, well, well. Hey, Professor Sada, why don't you do me a favor and throw a Master Ball into that time machine of yours? And let that Master Ball hit a Pokedex entry that's actually really good. Because this is rough stuff. Okay, so, uh, as you can see over here, we have we have some time. We have some time left over. We got every single one of the... Um, every single one of the Pokemon that are Paradoxes. That's really fun. So why don't we do this? We are going to jump into Revivin. I should be able to auto-heal from here. Bring him up. Let me see if I have Quick Balls, because we'll just start Quick Ball on everything. I got 21 Quick Balls. Yeah, let's absolutely do that. So, who else is in the area that we don't have? Uh, Golduck. Hello. Ugh. Ready. Alright, here we go. So, since we have Quick Balls, we can start filling out our Pokedex, right? And that's kind of the fun part, is just going through, catching all the Pokemon, seeing what we can find, and then just kind of going from there. Quick Balls are really, really powerful in this game, so very excited. So let's look at a real Pokedex entry. Here we go. And see, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. In the history of 25 years of Pokemon, like, Golduck has been around since the very beginning. He's a generation one. He's been in, like, every game. And, like, every time, they have to come up with something relatively new. Like, not necessarily copy-paste for the Pokedex entry, but they have to be something different. And it's like, okay, here we go. Let, let's expand on um, his swim speed in this Pokedex iteration. When it swims at full speed using its long webbed limbs, its forehead somehow begins to glow. Cool. Thanks for telling me that. That's great. So it tells me that its forehead kind of glows a little bit there. Yeah, because it is like a little psychic... Psychic little emblem there. Really fun. That's fun. Oh, give me this thing. Do I not have a Doug Trio? Uh, let's do this. Oh, I can't wait to read what it says about Doug Trio. Right? Like, I'm curious of what's underneath the ground. Right? So they said about Diglett that Diglett has such sensitive skin that... Like, it, it gets hurt by the sunlight, so it doesn't come out all that much. Makes sense. Thanks for telling me, right? Like, love this. I love this. Here we go. Doug Trio, Mole Pokemon. Its three heads bob separately up and down to loosen the soil nearby, making it easier to burrow. Oh, great. Cool. <laughs> That's so fun, man. Oh, man. But the question is, why do they always have their pink mouths open? Right? What do you mean I couldn't get away? What? Hey, that's rude. Wow, that's fun. So Doug Trio, man. Oh, I saw some like little ghosty ghosty babies. And a Chansey. Wow, that's a big that's a big girl. Yo, let me give this big boy. Grievard's evolution. Grieve Stone? What's his name? Houndstone. All right, so Houndstone, I don't have the ability to fall swipe. That's a that's a an interesting one. We learned about the little baby Houndstones, right? We learned the baby ones like whenever it's nearby, it sucks the life force out of people, causing them to faint. 
We learned that in the actual reveal, and that was great, right? I love that. Here we go. Grievard Wax. Because it's a little candle. Ghost Dog Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Is that a... Is that the same shape as... Mabostiff? Houndstone spends most of its time sleeping in graveyards. Among all the dog Pokemon, this one is the most loyal to its master. What? Hold on. I would have to look at their actual size. It kinda is. I gotta look at its jawline, though. Interesting. Alright, well, here we go. I'm gonna catch a baby now. Ugh. Here we go. Yeah, don't show that to Arvin. He might cry again. Here we go. I like that we're just tossing a quick ball and we're catching it. And we're just kind of enjoying these Pokedex entries. What is that? Oh, that grass looked good. Do you see the good grass? Alright, here we go. Grievered. Are these Mastiffs? Weird. Okay, Grievard, Ghost Dog Pokemon. It said that a dog Pokemon that died in the wild without ever interacting with a human was reborn as this Pokemon. Wow. Maybe that is a Mastiff. Weird. Okay, Grievard. Awesome. Well, we're getting a lot of... Oh, Sableye. Hey, dude. Oh, you see me, huh? Okay, fine. Come on over. <laughs> he's he's coming. I love Sableye. Mega Sableye was my favorite. Yo, we are catching Pokemon today. Oh, what? I can't false swipe this guy. And he's bulky. He could take a liquidation. He's bulky. He can't take a liquidation. Great. Okay, I'll find another Sableye. Don't you worry. There's many. There's many. Hey, Chansey! You get back up! No! Don't you, don't you even think about it. Don't even think about it. I saw an Espeon walking over. Did you see that? So the thing about Chansey is that if you catch a Chansey, that's going to be so much experience. And your entire team gets it. And there's a chance it might have a Lucky Egg. So I'm hoping, man. 3,000 experience just from doing that. Happy Dust. Cool. Tell me about Chansey. Teach me more. Chansey. This kindly Pokemon lays highly nutritious eggs and shares them with injured Pokemon or people. Cool. Kind of hungry. Thanks. Alright. Chansey sent to the boxes. Oh, look who's here. Hey, buddy. Huh? Uh. There we go. Okay, okay. Time to give you another quick ball. We'll go until we're out of quick balls. I think there's a lot of Pokemon to catch in this, like, underworld area. Or, like, the, um, the crater. So, we'll be fine. Here we go. Yay, Sableye. Something about its gems in its eyes. And how rich it is, or it likes collecting gems. Something like that. Or maybe not. Great. That's fine. It dwells in the darkness of caves. It uses its sharp claws to dig up gems to nourish itself. So it eats the gems. <laughs> its eyeballs are gems. Its, its body's made out of a little gem. Oh, he's so cute. Sableye's the cutest little guy. Dark Ghost, the only weakness it has is Fairy. Really good. Shares that same typing with Spiritomb. Oh, yo, Dusk Form. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna not go behind you. Yeah, you wanna come over here? Oh, he's tired. Uh, yeah! Nope. Side hit. So, if you get a back hit, you get one free turn of it being stunned. So, in case the quick ball doesn't work, you can run away or do something without getting hit. So, that's why I kind of like getting a sneak up on him. It's not... Whoa! Where did the Pokeball go, man? So one of the things, too, is, like, if you have Quick Balls, you can just, like, run away. Yep. You can run away and then just re-encounter it. There we go. I'm trying to confuse him. Uh, you can't go behind him and, like, do that. Anyway, 
you can um, you can run away, re-encounter it, and toss another Quick Ball for the best chances. It's like a really quick way of catching Pokemon. Wow! Where did my Pokeball go? Um, Collision? I don't know, man. This game's good. Lycan Rock. Okay, this Pokemon uses its rocky mane to slash any who approach. It will even disobey its trainer if it dislikes the orders it was given. Whoa, cool. All right. Good game, man. Oh, look at that. Cool cover, huh? Couldn't even give me the cover of the Pokemon that I got, the different form? Nope, could not. Of course not. Hello, Espeon. Oh, he sees me. Oh, you're running. No, you're not. Get over here. Not you. Get out of here, Sableye. Wow, Espeon was like, dude, I am out of here. This guy's going to catch me and or knock me out with a uh, or an earthquake, so I better run. Yo, this ground is eaten today. Wow, it's so good. All right, Espeon, definitely one of the favorite EV evolutions, right? Fan favorite since Gen 2, right? Sun Pokemon, the tip of its forked tail quivers when it is predicting its opponent's next move. Cool. Yeah, I love Espeon. Well, thank you for the... Thanks for the Pokemon. Bing! Yeah, we got a lot to go. Oh, hey! We got a lot to go. We got to get a shiny charm before we shiny hunt, man. Pay attention. Who's going to waste their time shiny hunting without a shiny charm? Hello? Nah, man, we ain't about wasting time. We gotta get this. We gotta get this. Here we go, here we go. Who else is in here if it isn't Zvilus? Come here. You coming? Yeah, go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> go ahead and roar at me while I sneak around the back and get you the free hit. Zvilus. Alright, let's do it. Where's Dino, man? Yeah, critical capture. Love it. Bum -ba -da -bum. Great. Dino scales. Okay, here we go. The two heads do not get along at all. If you don't give each head the same amount of attention, they'll begin fighting out of jealousy. <laughs> what? Wow. Could you imagine if you had two heads? Wait. That's a thing. Sometimes people are born with two heads. Nope, wrong way. You! <laughs> Try to hit it in the head. Alright, this thing's gonna hurt Garchomp with an ice cra icicle crash or something, unless I catch it. Wow, that dirt. That's some mud. There's some deep mud right there that it's sinking right into it. Okay, we got ourselves a Sneasel. Very fun. We gotta give it like a Razor Claw or something. To evolve. Or just catch a Weavile, it doesn't matter. Alright, Sharp Claw Pokemon. This cunning Pokemon hides under the cover of darkness, waiting to attack its prey. Wow. Eh, it's like 5 out of 10. It's not really that cool. It's like a safe Pokedex entry. It's like, yo, the boss is looking over your shoulder, man. Like, get a Pokedex entry in. Ah, uh, but I don't want to mess it up. Hello? Look at this little thing. Oh, what is it? Oh, yeah, this is uh, Glim- Glimit! Glimit! Cool. Wow, yo, that grass. Great. Glimit, we needed that. You know, we, we were catching so many Pokemon in this area, and they're all rare, too. Glimit! It absorbs nutrients from cave walls. The petals it wears are made of crystallized poison. Ooh, that's a cool Pokedex entry. For a brand new Pokemon, yeah, you better you better get a good one. Ding! Wow. Oh, hi! Yo, why is your mouth open? Why are those pink... See, Diglett's like this. And Doug Trio, they're all just with their mouth open. Why? Are they trying to get some food? Being a little flytrap over here? Tell me more. Alright, Sableye, Greebird. 
uh, Gre uh, Houndstone, Doug Trio. Who's in the water? Oh, Who's in the water? Get this little guy out of here. Who's in the water? I got Lycanroc. Anyone in the water? Golduck, you're the only one? Okay. Great. Uh, we got a Zvilus. Great. Anything else? Anything else? I think this cave is pretty explored. I think we found everything in this little cave here. Uh, ooh, Gibble and Gabite. I'll take them. I'll take them both. Yeah, come here. I'll take Gibble and Gabite. Hey, little babies. Because I don't have... I have Garchomp. Remember, we caught Garchomp not too long ago. Two. Ooh, he's like, yo, you are... That's not gonna work on me, buddy. You're really gonna do this. I'm gonna go catch, catch your mommy. Or your daddy over there. We gotta go get that daddy. Get that mom. Get that mom right here. Ooh, not Sableye. Yo, I just crash landed right into it. No! No, don't despawn. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Which one is it? Is this a mom or a dad? Yell at me. Yell. Oof! Okay, fine. Didn't work. Mom? Dad? Mom! Okay, let's go, Mom. Level 60, 59-year-old Mom. Come on. Oh, man. Whoa! Dug right under the ground. So where did it go now? Oh, okay, good. It just reappeared. Great. Yell. Yell. Dug Trio's coming. And Sneasel. Oh, come on, man. Like, ugh, fine. All right, I'm gonna get these last two Pokemon, and then that's the end. All I want to do is just do this, like, quick ball and catch. Unless I'm gonna run out of Pokeballs. I only have six more shots. Got it. Great. Dude, quick balls are too good, man. Very overpowered. Yahoo! Hey, there is a Vaporeon. What is it doing here? Weird. What a weird spawn point for it. That's okay. Uh, in rare cases, it molts and sheds its scales. Scales medicine containing its scales as an ingredient will make a weary body feel invigorated. Wow. You can eat gabite scales and feel good? That's great. That tells me about what, what else people are doing. Of course people eat Pokemon. I've been trying to tell you guys that for ages. Cloth sticks, right? Cloth sticks is an ingredient that you could buy in the in the store. And you got Lechonk ham. <laughs> Lechonk prosciutto. Look, Vaporeon! That's my favorite Pokemon. What's it doing here? Alright, so we got Gibble Gabite. Let's take a look. That's right. We could have ripped off those scales from a boss diff. That's exactly it. It skulks in caves, and when prey or an enemy passes by, it leaps out and chomps them. The force of its attack sometimes chips its teeth. Yeah. Land shark Pokemon. Just a nibble. Right? Ding. Dude, we are making a dent in this Pokeball. Pokeball. Pokedex. Pokeball collection. Yeah, that's, I think that's where I was going. We're getting chased by a Chansey. Okay. I think that's everyone in this cave over here. We got Sneasel. Vaporeon I already own. Uh, who else? I got these little Sneasels here. I got that guy. Ooh, another Roaring Moon would be cool to have, but I don't need it. We got... Oh, Houndstone and his babies, man. Get out. I don't need these little candles, but we, we actually got a lot. How many did we get today? Like, literally, outside of the three Paradox Pokemon, who else did we get? Palmy, Palmo, I have them. Chansey, Chansey, have them. Doug Trio, have Oh, we are good. We are. Oh, who's this? Sableye. Dang it. Mm. Let's chonk baloney. 
Yeah, Slowpoke Tail. We got nine Pokemon? Holy moly. Oh, is there a chapter for each one of them? Ooh, that'd be awesome. I didn't even realize. Uh, Giraffe Rig? Uh, I'll catch another one sometime. Oh my gosh, look at this one. This is the Wall Phaser Chansey. Did you even see it? No, I didn't. My character was even winking because he didn't even see it. Chansey with the ability to phase through a wall? Uh, doesn't exist. I think you guys are seeing things. Nothing happened on screen. There wasn't a Chansey there. No, there was not. Uh, I'm going to come over here on the sun. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ah, uh, yep. Great. Cool. Great stopping point. There's a lot of Pokemon happening. What is that in the background? It's flapping its wing. It's calling for me. It's beckoning me over there. It's like, yeah, I think the Chansey's over this way. Come on over. He's phasing through the walls again. Um, that's okay. No worries. we got tons more Pokemon to catch. Uh, next time that we jump on board, I'm going to put a little counter in the top corner of the screen that's going to showcase how many Pokemon we have out of 400 so we can see just exactly how far we're at. Uh, if we take a look right now, we are currently at 80 out of 400. So that means we just need to go out and quick ball everything. <laughs> And got to catch them all super easily, rather than keeping them in our party and slowly evolving each of them, right? Let's do it. It's going to be a great time. So, thanks so much for watching. You guys are great. All right, I think that's going to be enough for me right now. Uh, streaming for about three and a half hours, about four hours. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to save the game. Um, I am going to have a great time with the rest of the series, because what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be going and collecting all the Pokemon. That's right, we gotta collect all the Pokemon, uh, we have to go through all the studies in the school, and then we have to do the gym leader rematches, so if we ever get bored of catching all the Pokemon, we could just do a gym leader, right, to break the monotony. But I know where all the Pokemon are at, um, and I know where all the evolutions are, or how to evolve every single one of them, um, because, I mean, that's what we did, right? Like, we did all of that before. It was a really fun time. Um, when, before the game came out, like, I... Doing it blind was real hard, right? So, yeah, we did absolutely everything. So if you guys are curious of what the Pokemon are, like what all 400 of them look like, you guys can take a look right over here on the main channel page. We've got the all 400 Pokedex entries. You can read them all and see what they read, right? Um, and then if you guys want to see what happens when you complete the Pokedex, you guys get this video right over this way. So tons of things. I just have to do it all over again. So... Uh, guys, that's going to be it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, what I want you guys to do is come on over to this video. Uh, this was the shiny hunt hunting method. Uh, come on over to it. I want you to do me a favor and comment about which of the which of the shiny Pokemon you want to get the most. Let me know about that in the comments of that video. I put the video in the comments right now so that you guys can go watch that, open it up in a new tab, uh, and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to heart every single one of those comments saying you guys came here from episode five. We beat the entire game and now it's time to catch them all. So anyway, thank you so much for watching that. We have tons of tips and tricks, tutorials, and guides on the channel, so do me a favor and check those out. So, all right. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Shout out to the mods and the chapter team, all of our members and all of our elites and all of you guys watching live along with. We've got a lot more work to do, so I'm going to work on some more tips and tricks tutorials and we might do a live stream tomorrow. We'll see. Of just going through and catching as many Pokemon as we can. So you guys are the best. Have a great rest of your evening and we'll see you on the next one. Take care and see you next time. Bye.